After the end of the Tournament of Power and the battle against Brawly, who ended up being friends, Goku was working in the fields as his wife Chi Chi said he needed money for things and the studies of his youngest son Goten. Already finishing the crops, Goku begins to fly, arriving at his house where Chi Chi was cooking and Goten doing a task. Hi Chi Chi, I'm done with the crops, said Goku very happy. Good, the food will be ready in five minutes. You can wait at the table so you can join Goten, said Milk, who was finishing preparing the food. Okay, Milk, Goku smiled as he sat next to his son Goten. The food was ready and the three began to eat. After some delicious dishes prepared by Milk, Goku decides to go to the Capsule Corporation so that Bulma can call Whis and train him. Meanwhile, in the Palace of the Kings of Everything, the Sinosama of the present and the Sinosama of the future were having an interesting conversation. It was about making Goku the new king of everything, since he had surpassed the gods and could manage to perfect their technique of Ultra Instinct and that made them think very well about making him the most powerful king of the universe. I agree that our best friend Goku should be the new king of everything, said Sinosama of the present very happy. Me too, I like Goku very much. If he is with us, we will play a lot with him, smiled Sinosama of the future. You're right, we have to tell Daishinkan. He stood up from the present Sinosama's throne while smiling. The Sinosama called Daishinkan. Daishinkan bowed in respect and asked the Sinosama what they needed. Daishinkan, we want you to communicate with Universe 7. Tell Wiz to bring Son Goku with him. We have something to tell him, explained the Sinosama of the future to Daishinkan. Daishinkan gives a bow and then said, As you order, my lord. Daishinkan communicates with his son Wiz about the notice of Sinosama, thus ending the communication. And Wiz goes to the earth to look for Goku, and then go to the palace of the kings of all. Ah? What do the Sinosama need me for? Surely, it's something very important. Or maybe there will be another tournament, Goku thought very excitedly. When they arrive at their destination, Daishinkan welcomes them and guides them to where the Sinosama was. When the Sinosama saw Goku, they hugged him, and Goku hugged them back, and then asked, Hello Sinosama, what do you need me for? Goku, we were talking, and we agreed to make you the new king of everything. This was said very happily by the present Sinosama. Everyone was surprised by the words of the present Sinosama, but the one who was more surprised was Goku. I will be the new king of everything? shouted Goku, very surprised. Goku was surprised by the words of his two friends. Were they really saying that? Do they want me to be a king of everything or do they want me to spend more time with them? These questions were on the Saiyan's mind, but he decides to get out of his thoughts and then talk to the Sinosama. Your decision surprised me, but why do you want me to be the new king of everything? Goku said, looking at both Sinosamas. Well, Goku, after the Tournament of Power, we saw that you were very strong. You're even the first mortal to achieve the egoistic doctrine, something the gods never achieved smiled the Sinosama of the future to say these words. You would also be a good king in the future, said also the Sinosama of the present. Wow, I don't know what to say, smiled Goku very nervous. You will be trained by Daishinkan. You will learn new techniques and you will have the respect of everyone. Sinosama was trying to convince Goku with those words. And you will also get to know better all the universes and their most powerful warriors, also said the Sinosama of the future. Goku would be thinking for a moment if he would be the king of everything, he could change the levels of mortality so that they would not be erased and so that they would protect their loved ones from every threat. After thinking for a few moments, Goku smiled and said, Good, I accept to be the new king of everything to make a better future. Everyone is surprised by Goku's decision, but the Sinosama were very happy that Goku accepted. Very well, your training with Daishinkan starts tomorrow. You can go back to your universe, said the Sinosama, very happy. Goku and the Sinosama said goodbye with a hug and returned to Universe 7, where all their friends were gathered in the Capsule Corporation, celebrating the birthday of Bra, Vegeta's daughter. Goku appears out of nowhere and greets them. Hello everyone, I'm glad you're all here. I have an announcement to make. And what is it, father? Gohan asked this surprised. Well, I was with the Sinosama and I'll be the new king of everything. Goku said quite happy. Everyone was surprised by Goku's words, but the one who was more surprised was Vegeta, and at the same time, upset because Goku surpassed him more and will be the new king of the entire multiverse. Maybe I can make some changes and put the other universes to improve their mortality, Goku explained to his friends. Vegeta, quite angry, shouts, Kakarot, you'll be stronger than me. 
Now, Vegeta, don't be mad at me. I promise I will come to visit you and maybe spend time with you, especially with my family. Goku tried to calm Vegeta and his family with these words. Goku decided to spend the day with his family going out to the amusement park while they ate, laughed, and shared good and old times they had. Goku, after spending time with his family, decided to rest because tomorrow he had an important training with the great priest of all Daishinkan. Goku, thinking and quite happy, I will be a good and better king of everything. I will do my best. At the Sina Palace, Goku was ready for his important training with Daishinkan. Goku, with the suit just like Daishinkan, rushes at a speed throwing punches and kicks, but Daishinkan dodges them very easily. Goku would keep attacking Daishinkan without stopping. Daishinkan, with a punch, sends Goku far away, but Goku comes back, and this one, with a smile, says to Daishinkan, You are very strong, Mr. Daishinkan. Why don't you transform, Mr. Goku? Daishinkan asked Goku in confusion. I want to increase my power in base state, said Goku a little hurt. Daishinkan gives a slight smile. Very well, we continue with the training, Mr. Goku. Yes, get ready, I'll go all out. Those were the words of Goku to let go, go to Daishinkan to try to latinate a blow. So 30 minutes passed and Goku increased his power to 100% in its base state. Goku then transforms into Super Blue Saiyan, exchanging punches and kicks with Daishinkan. Every time Goku concentrated on the movements, he attacked faster and felt his power increase more. Goku continued with the transformation of the Blue Saiyan for 35 minutes and had it 100% controlled with the Kaioken, as it would not be a waste of energy. Goku became stronger and stronger. Let's take a short break, Mr. Goku, Daishinkan said a little exhausted. Goku, smiling, said, Good, Mr. Daishinkan. The 10 minutes of rest passed, and from there, they continued with the training. Goku learned new techniques. He could even travel through the universes easily. Goku thunders his knuckles. I feel a great power inside me. I think you are ready, Goku-sama. Those were Daishinkan's words with a big smile. Goku-sama? said Goku, quite surprised. That's right. That's the nickname of respect for you. Daishinkan explained to Goku with a big smile. Well, it's not necessary, but it's okay, Goku replied. Goku thinking, it's time to do a good job as the new king of everything. In every universe, all the gods with their angels, guardians, and Kaioshin were preparing for the meeting in the palace of the kings of everything. All the warriors who participated in the tournament of power will also accompany the gods in this important meeting. In the palace of the kings of all, Goku was in his new suit of the king of all, being ready for his presentation. This power I have is incredible, and the interesting thing is that I have the Ultra Instinct in base state without any problem. Goku said happily, Goku-sama, Daishiken called as a sign of respect, calling the attention of the Saiyan God. Surprised Goku, what's wrong Mr. Daishinkan? All the gods and angels, including the warriors who participated in the Tournament of Power, are already gathered here, Daishinkan said to Goku. Goku smiling, very well, thank you for letting me know Mr. Daishinkan. You are welcome, Goku-sama. Those were Daishinkan's words, and then he left the place. While with the gods, angels, and Kaioshins, and warriors, were waiting for the notice of the high priest and the kings of all. Daishinkan, together with the Sinosama of the present and the Sinosama of the future, stood in front of everyone, making the gods, with their warriors, kneel in respect. Gods, angels, and warriors, we welcome you to this important meeting, Daishinkan said. Sino of the future, looking at everything. As you know, this meeting is about an introduction of the new king of everything. Everyone is surprised by the words of Daishinkan and Sinosama of the future. Sinosama of the present pointed to Goku. I present to you the new king of everything, Son Goku. Goku, with his new form and new costume, appears and is seen before all those present who were surprised that Son Goku, the warrior, who was the cause of the tournament, is the king of everything. That old man is the king of everything now? I can't believe it, Khalifa shouted in surprise. This is impossible, said Champa, very nervous. Wiz, did you know about this? Bills looked at Wiz, very surprised. Wiz answers, yes, sir. Sensei-sama decided to make Mr. Goku the new king of everything. All the Kaioshins are surprised by the words of the angel of Universe 7. Bills very nervous. 
You surprised me today, Son Goku. Son Goku looks very strong. Even I don't feel his key, Kale said, trying to see Goku's key. Mr. Goku as the new king of everything? I'm surprised by his new appearance. Kiabe looked at Goku from his hacient. Goku increases his key by having silver hair. Having the Ultra Instinct mastered surprising everyone even more. That heat is tremendous. I even feel my whole body trembling, Khalifla trembled as she felt the pressure of Goku's power. Goku raises his hand and greets everyone with a smile. Hello gods, angels, Kaioshins, and warriors. I promise to be a good king of everything, and I hope you all keep doing your jobs well. That's all for today. You may not retire. These were the words of Daishinkan, ending the meeting. Everyone returns to their respective universes, surprised by what happened today. Son Goku, the warrior of the universe 7, is the new king of everything. After the meeting, Goku is now the new king of everything and decides to visit the universe 11 to see Jiren again. While in universe 11, Jiren and Topo were training with Margarita to be stronger. Very good, keep it up and you will increase your powers even more, Margarita said while dodging their attacks. But suddenly, a light interrupts them and the figure of someone familiar appears in front of Jiren and Topo and it was none other than Goku. Goku greets them. Hello, it's nice to see you again Jiren and Topo. Goku-sama, said Topo while kneeling as a form of respect confusing Goku a little. Goku tries to calm Topo down. Calm down Topo, it's not necessary to do that. Son Goku, Jiren said to him as a sign of respect. Goku-sama is a pleasure to see you here. What brings you to Universe 11? Margarita asked Goku as a sign of respect. I just wanted to come visit you and see Jiren again. And I see that you're training and that is very good. I hope that the other warriors will also increase their powers. Goku commented as he looked at those present. We will do it Goku-sama, Topo said looking at Goku. Son Goku trained since the end of the Tournament of Power to face you again. But I think I cannot, Jiren said to Goku. Don't worry Jiren, someday you'll be very strong and always protect your loved ones in your home. Never give up, always fight for the peace of all. Goku tried to encourage Jiren with a big smile. Jiren, with a big smile, shakes hands with Goku and after 5 minutes, Goku had to return to the palace saying goodbye to Margarita, Jiren and Topo. Daishinken, seeing Goku, asks him, Where was Goku-san? Goku, smiling a little nervously, I'm sorry for not warning you, I just wanted to visit Universe 11 for a while, it won't happen again. Don't worry, it's not a problem, Daishinkan answered. Hey Daishinkan, Goku was talking to Daishinkan. Yes Goku-sama, what do you need? Daishinkan asked a bit worried. I was thinking of making a tournament between Universes 6, 7 and 11, but not that the losing universes would be eliminated. Goku commented his idea to Daishinkan. Daishinkan gives a slight smile. It wouldn't be a bad idea. Besides, the Sinosama would like that. Good. Tomorrow, tell the three destroyer gods of those universes about that tournament. Goku sent in a kind way to Daishinkan. Daishinkan gives a bow. As you say, Goku-sama. Goku then joins the Sinosama and they start to play while laughing and excited to know that there will be another tournament, but no universe will be eliminated. Being the king of everything is so much fun. I'm going to keep the peace in the multiverse even if it costs me my life. Goku thought happily without knowing the danger that was approaching for the multiverse in the future. In Universe 7, the God of Destruction, Bills, was watching Vegeta's training with Wiz, but they were interrupted by the arrival of the High Priest. Bills and Vegeta kneel down as a sign of respect, and Wiz calmly asks, Wiz looking at his father, Hello father, what brings you to Universe 7? I come to warn you about another tournament, Daishin Kan said looking at everyone. What? Another tournament? shouted Bills quite surprised. And we will be eliminated if we lose? Vegeta asked nervously. No, it's just that the king of all, Goku, wants to see how strong you've become. Daishinkan answered his doubts. Bills, sighing with relief. Phew, what a relief. I almost fainted. We'll be ready for that tournament. Good luck. Daishinkan said and then left Universe 7 and went to Universe 6 where Champa was eating and was training the three Saiyans. 
Daishikan appears, scaring Champa, who in a quick movement kneels down in front of him. Champa, it's pleasure to have you in my universe, Daishinkan sama What do you want? Asks nervously, the god destroyer of the universe 6. I come to warn you about another tournament, but do not worry, no universe will be eliminated. Daishinkan returned to answer all your questions. What a relief, sighed the Saiyan of universe 6. And why do you want to open another tournament, Mr. Daishinkan? Kale asked very nervously. The king of everything, Goku-sama wants to see how strong you become in all this time. Daishinkan looked at Kale. Khalifa's eyes would sparkle when he heard that, at last, that he will show Goku how strong he's become. We'll be ready for that tournament, Khalifa said very excited. All is said and done. Good luck to you. After those words, Daishinkan moves away from Universe 6 and would make his appearance in Universe 11, making Vermouth kneel down as well as Topo and Jiren. Hello, father. What brings you to Universe 11? Margarita asked calmly. I come to warn you about a tournament, and you'll not be eliminated if the universe loses. The king of all, Goku-sama, wants to see how strong you become. Daishinkan would explain to everyone. Topo, excited. We'll do it, Daishinkan-sama. So Daishinkan would return to the palace after warning Universe 6, 7, and 11 to be ready for the tournament. Goku, sitting on his throne, together with the two Sama breasts, were waiting for Universe 6, 7, and 11 for the tournament to start. As the minutes passed, the three destroyer gods, with their warriors, arrived at the palace, kneeling in front of Goku and the Sama Sinans. Hello, gods, destroyers of the Universe 6, 7, and 11. As you know, I decided to make a tournament among you to see how strong your warriors have become, said Goku with a defiant look for all. With a confident smile, approaches Goku and says in a proud way, Kakaro, today I will show you how strong I've become. Hey, have more respect for Goku-sama, Bills shouted at Vegeta. Relax, Mr. Bills, nothing is wrong, and I hope you continue to do your job as the god of destruction. Goku said while looking at Bills with a defiant smile, Eh, uh, yes, Goku-sama, Bills said very nervously. I hope we see a good fight. Those were the words of both Zeno-samas. Very well, then the rules are the same as those of the Tournament of Power and also allow the merger, and if you eliminate a warrior of the universe, will return to where their gods are destroyers. Goku explained to all the participants. From Universe 6 will participate Khalifla, Kale, Kiabe, and Hit. From Universe 7 will participate Vegeta, Gohan, Number 17, and Picoro. And from Universe 11 will participate Jiren, Topo, and Dispo. These are the Guerreros of the three universes that will participate today. I hope they are ready to fight. Remember that it is only to see how much they have increased their power, Daishiken shouted while smiling. Let the universe between Universe 6, 7, and 11 begin. The tournament began after Goku's words. Universe 6 were the first to attack, while Vegeta and Jiren couldn't stop looking at each other. Vegeta, who was confident that today he would take his revenge for the humiliation of that tournament that was eliminated, and Jiren just stayed quiet and without giving any blow, while Khalifa and Kale were fighting against Gohan and Piccolo, where the four were evenly matched. There was no advantage until Khalifa decided to increase his power and transform into Super Saiyan 2. Khalifa, get ready because I will go very seriously. This will be a perfect opportunity to show Goku how strong I can be. Khalifa said very excited. We will both be strong, sister. Together we can surprise Goku-sama. Kale looked at Khalifa. Kale now had respect for Goku and had decided to leave his hatred towards him behind since he could see that Goku is not a bad person and now he's a very important and powerful god. Come on, Mr. Piccolo. Let's show him the fruits of our training. Gohan, after saying that, also transforms into Super Saiyan 2. Piccolo, very proud. That's right, Gohan. A war cry is heard between the four while Kyabi was fighting against 17, where 17 had some advantage in the fight, but Kyabi would not stay behind and began to increase the speed of his blows, giving a little trouble to 17. This gets a little interesting, but I would like to see the fight of Vegeta and Topo, but it can wait, said Goku, watching Kyabi in 17. Who will win? We won't know until the tournament is over, said both Zeno-samas, very excited. Should I enter the tournament? It wouldn't be a bad idea to show some of my power, but maybe not, or maybe yes, Goku was saying in his mind while admiring all the fights. Vegeta transforms himself into Super Saiyan God Blue Evolution at 20%, and he attacks Jiren, and Jiren, without thinking about it, would do the same, so both would start exchanging blows while Topo and Dispo were just waiting for the moment to win. This tournament is getting more and more interesting, and I'm fascinated by the Blue Super Saiyan Evolution of Vegeta, Goku whispered. 
Hey, Senchan, wouldn't you like to see me participate a little in this tournament to show some of my power? Goku whispered to the Xenos, That would be awesome, Goku. Zeno, Yes, yes, very awesome. Both Xenosamas whispered back to Goku. Goku calls Daishinkan to whisper in his hatred, telling him that in a moment he'll participate a little in this tournament. And Daishinkan, with a slight smile, says, Okay, Mr. Goku, I'll just wait for the time to come to enter with some action. Surely everyone will want to fight against me, but I have to obey the rules. Goku sighed while thinking that. Vegeta shouts, Come on, Jiren, let's take this to the next level. Transforming into Super Saiyan Blue Evolution to totality, mm, I'd better bring out some more of my power. Jiren whispered something excited. Jiren increases his power to 15%, exciting Goku. Vegeta is the first to attack, exchanging blows with Jiren, while Jiren seriously concentrates on Vegeta's blows. I'm gonna win this tournament and show Kakarot that I'm the strongest. Vegeta shouted while hitting Jiren. Haven't they told you that you have to have respect for your superiors? Goku is now the king of everything, Jiren explained to Vegeta. Vegeta angrily yells at him, I don't care about that. What I care about is surpassing you. You talk so much. Jiren, with a punch in the stomach, makes Vegeta spit some blood to be crashed by a blast of Jiren's key. Gohan worried, Vegeta! Wow, Jiren became very strong, said both Xenosamas while looking at Jiren. Jiren, I'm getting excited about your power. Goku was starting to get excited. Vegeta angrily comes out of the rubble to then see Jiren with a very serious look on his face. Bug, you'll pay for that. Vegeta angrily launches another attack on Jiren and starts throwing punches at Vegeta. He dodges them by kicking Jiren. Hmm. Jiren wipes some blood on his mouth. Vegeta launches a Bim Bam attack, hitting Jiren where he was just standing still without any scratches but with his clothes somewhat damaged. Let's continue with our fight, Jiren. Vegeta said very angry. Jiren sighs. Then come and attack me with all your strength. Jiren and Vegeta continued with the fight while Gohan and the other warriors fought to win the tournament. Gohan and Khalifla had a very even fight. Punches and kicks were coming and going from all sides and no one was going to stop fighting. Let's make this fight more interesting. Khalifla gets into a fighting pose. As you say, Gohan replies to Khalifla. Gohan and Khalifla transform into Super Saiyan 2 again and then they both get into fighting pose. I'm getting more and more excited, said Goku, smiling. Yes, yes, they are both very powerful, both Sinasama smiled. Come on, Khalifla, defeat him, Champa cheered for Khalifla. That goes for you too, Gohan. Defeat her and show your father how strong you are. Bills also cheered for Gohan. Yes, sir, Bills, Gohan replied to Bills. Khalifla is the first to attack Gohan, and Gohan blocks Khalifla's blow with his arm. Gohan tries to give a blow to Khalifla, but Khalifla stops him with his leg. Then both began to exchange blows and kicks and threw bursts of key to each other. Gohan decides to increase the speed of his punches, giving Khalifla problems, but Khalifla does not lag behind and would do the same as Gohan. Khalifla now, with the speed of his punches, had the same advantage as Gohan. If he continued like this, maybe he would defeat him and surprise Goku. Gohan had the same idea, surprise his father and show him how strong he can be. Both now increased their strength and were evenly matched in power while Kale and Piccolo were having their fight where they were making the platform shake with their punches and kicks. I will defeat you, Kale shouted. We'll see about that. Piccolo smiled, looking at Kale who was confident of her power. Goku was entertained watching the fight together with the Xenosamas, and now they were about to see Piccolo's fight against Kale. Kale was transformed in her controlled legendary phase and Piccolo with her 20% power. Kale had the advantage in the fight, being sure that she could win, but Piccolo was not far behind. She had some tricks up her sleeve. I'm doing it. I'm winning the fight. Kale hit Piccolo with powerful blows while saying this. Don't be too confident. Piccolo throws a blast of key, making smoke confusing Kale. But what is this? Kale was looking around confused. Piccolo takes the opportunity to give her a swift move kicking Kale, making her move away from him. I told you not to be confident, girl. That kick was just luck, but I won't give up, said Kale, spitting some blood from his mouth. Then let's continue. Piccolo answered quite confidently. Kale and Piccolo went on the attack, where they exchanged punches and kicks, making the shockwaves very strong. Piccolo's fight against Kale is very exciting. Goku said with a big smile, these fights are getting better and better. They are showing how much they have improved. The Xenosamas were very excited. I wonder who will win. Will it be Piccolo or will it be Kale? Thought Goku, very happy to see how much everyone has improved. I already want to fight against everyone, especially against Jiren and Vegeta. 
I will show them that I have also become very strong and that I am worthy of being the king of everything. Those were the words of the Saiyan who was very excited with a big smile on his face. While Piccolo and Kale were in their endless fight, the fight was even as it was between a Namekin and a legendary Saiyan. Piccolo was reading his rival's movements to find his weak point. Piccolo manages to hit Kale in the stomach, making Kale spit some blood. Damn, this guy is really good! Kale was complaining of pain from the blow Piccolo gave him. It looks like your confidence is gone. No, I'm not giving up yet. I will be much stronger to make my sister proud. Kale increases his power and with great speed attacks Piccolo, who now has trouble to dodge Kale's blows. Kale hits him in the face, making him fly away. Then he grabs Piccolo's foot while punching him in all directions. Then he makes Piccolo spin and releases him, making Piccolo crash. You don't fight badly at all, Piccolo said, emerging from the rubble. You're not a bad fighter either, Kale replied, wiping some blood from his mouth. Good! It's time I get into the fight! I really need to fight for a while after seeing all this. Those were Goku's thoughts as he watched all those incredible fights. You'll see that I'll defeat you, clown. Vegeta was still fighting in his Super Saiyan God form Phase 2 evolution against Jiren. Jiren just kept quiet. He really wasn't interested in fighting Vegeta. He wanted to fight Goku. Warriors of Universe 6, 7, and 11 can stop fighting for a moment. Everyone listens to Daishinken and stops fighting to look at him. The kings of everything are very excited about their bouts, and the king of everything, Goku-sama, would like to join the fight for a while. Everyone was surprised by what Daishinken said. As you heard, I was so excited that I wanted to fight one of you. Goku gets up from his throne to go down to the platform. Jiren would not miss the opportunity and heads towards Goku to fight him. Goku-sama, I want to have a fight with you. Those were the words of Jiren, who was very excited to fight Goku. Hey Jiren, your fight is still with me! What? I want to fight against Goku? I am his son, I should have a fight against him. No, I also want to fight Goku-sama. Uh, don't forget about me, I want to test Goku's power. This, this is, is going, going to be complicated. complicated! Please, calm down. None of them paid any attention, but they were interrupted by Goku's key surge causing their bodies to tremble. Well, the first one to fight me will be... Well, I think my first fight will be against Khalifla. Yes! Now is the perfect time to have my revenge! Khalifla said, very excited. That brat is not going to be able to fight Kakarot. She is going to suffer humiliation. Sister, are you sure you want to fight him alone? Yeah, don't worry, Kale. I'll be fine. Said Khalifla while preparing to fight. Okay, good luck, Khalifla. Those were Kale's words of encouragement to his sister. Thank you, Kale. Khalifla gets into a fighting pose, ready to attack. Goku would only stare at Khalifla, being calm, without making any move. Khalifla transforms into Super Saiyan Phase 3 and launches herself to give him a blow, being stopped by Goku, who did not take his eyes off her. But what? Khalifla couldn't finish the word because she felt a blow to her stomach, making her spit blood, pulling away from Goku because of the pain. Damn, that hit hurt me. Khalifla said in pain. Goku disappears and appears from the side right in front of Khalifla, surprising her. Khalifla wasted no time and started attacking Goku, throwing punches and kicks, but Goku just dodged her attacks without any problem. Damn, I can't even hit him! Those were the thoughts of Khalifla, who was very nervous. Khalifla launches a key attack, hitting Goku, but he stops it with his hand, making the key attack disappear. Everyone is surprised, especially Khalifla, as she saw how Goku disappeared this attack without any problem. Khalifla falls to her knees, wondering if she was one of the weaker Saiyans. She has no chance of fighting Goku anymore. She felt embarrassed, but she was grabbed by the chin by Goku. Never give up in a fight. I know you can overcome your limits. Something in me tells me that you will become very strong, Khalifla. Goku said all those words to motivate Khalifla and smiled for her. Do you really believe that, Goku-sama? Khalifla said in a slightly happier tone, looking at Goku with a blush. Yes, I know that someday you will become stronger and protect all your loved ones. Khalifla, somewhat blushed, thanked Goku. Then Goku gave her a little kiss on the cheek. Goodbye, Khalifla! 
Goku heads off to fight the next warrior. Goodbye, Goku. I want to see you again, Khalifla said with a blush. Well, who will I fight now? Goku wondered, looking at the other warriors. Fight me, Kakarot! Vegeta shouted proudly. Bills gets angry from the stands and scolds Vegeta. It's Goku-sama for all of us. Okay! Goku throws himself at an incredible speed that no one could see, throwing a blow at Vegeta that he was able to block with difficulty and was surprised by Goku's speed. Your speed is incredible! Vegeta was very surprised. Goku and Vegeta started exchanging punches and kicks, but Goku had the advantage because his punches were very fast and some of them hit Vegeta. Is that all you have? Goku said mockingly to Vegeta. Don't you dare underestimate me, Kakarot! Vegeta shouted very angry. Goku transforms into Super Saiyan God Phase 2, surprising everyone as it felt a very strong atmosphere. Even Vegeta was surprised. But Vegeta was not going to be left behind and transformed into Super Saiyan Phase 2 evolution. Now this is a way more interesting fight! Those were Vegeta's arrogant words. I agree with you, Goku said calmly. Vegeta launches key blasts at Goku, hitting him and causing a lot of smoke to appear, and then revealing a Goku without a scratch. Vegeta, after seeing that Goku didn't have a single scratch, lunged to attack Goku while he was calm. Goku stopped Vegeta's blow with a single finger. What? He stopped my punch with just one finger! Vegeta tried to walk away with him, but Goku punched him in the stomach, causing Vegeta to step away in pain. Goku approaches Vegeta, but Vegeta would try to punch him in the face. Goku grabbed him by his arms, avoiding the blow. I can't believe it! I'm the Prince of the Saiyan, and I'm being defeated by a low-class Saiyan who became king of everything? Vegeta shouted very angry and was discouraged to see that Goku surpassed him in all aspects. Vegeta, just because I'm the king of everything doesn't mean that you're going to surrender. Remember, you are the strongest of Universe 7, and I want you to promise me that you will protect your loved ones from any threat, that you will train and always be a good warrior. Goku looked at Vegeta, and Vegeta said with a big smile, Kakarot, I... I... promise! Vegeta was responding to Goku by giving a slight proud smile as he saw how strong his friend Goku had become. Goodbye, Vegeta. Goku returns to his base state, saying goodbye to Vegeta. Then Goku moves away from Vegeta to fight the next warrior. Goku will now fight against his son while the others were still fighting even though Vegeta was resting and Khalifla kept thinking about the kiss and the words Goku said to her. You ready for your fight, Gohan? Goku was stretching to be able to face his son Gohan. Yes, Dad! These were the words of Gohan, who was very serious. Let's start with this! Goku would fly towards him at incredible speed and hit Gohan with a punch that Gohan was able to block, but with great difficulty. Ah, oh, my father's speed is incredible! Gohan was somewhat exhausted from stopping his father's punch. Gohan would try to hit Goku with a punch, but it didn't affect him at all. Goku kicked Gohan and sent him flying far away. You're very strong, Dad! Gohan said, returning to where Goku was. You will be too, Gohan. Trust in your strength! Goku looked at Gohan with a big smile. Dad, can I ask you a question? Of course. Goku would reply, somewhat confused. Why did you kiss that girl? Gohan asked, very confused by what had happened earlier. Is there something wrong with it? Goku asked, now much more confused and at the same time innocently. Well, you have a wife! Said Gohan to make him realize that what he had done was wrong. Ah, oh, I gave her a kiss to encourage her and also told her that with hard work, she would become very strong and be able to protect her loved ones. Goku replied again innocently. Okay. <sighs> Gohan sighed as he failed to talk sense into his father. Good, we continue. Goku got back into a fighting pose. Yes, father, Gohan said, and then the two exchanged blows and kicks again, having an epic father and son fight. Gohan was increasing the speed of his blows, but Goku had the advantage. You still have a lot to learn, Gohan. If you want to be stronger like Vegeta and Jiren, try harder to be a pure-hearted warrior. Gohan looked at Goku saying those words to him. I will make you proud of me, father. Gohan replied somewhat excited. I have always been proud of you, my son. Goku approached Gohan to give him a hug. Ow! I think that's enough for today. I know it would be interesting to fight Jiren with my new power, but it will have to be another day. Goku thought, looking at Jiren. 
No, I can't stand to use my new power anymore. And Jiren is the one I want to use my power against. Jiren approached Son Goku. Finally, it's my turn, Goku-sama. You better be ready, Jiren, because I'm very excited. At last, we will see again the strongest warrior of the universe is Jiren fight against Goku. This will be the best we can see. What a thrill! Said both Xenosamas. This will be very interesting indeed. Daishin Ken thought. Goku and Jiren shouted at the same time. Okay, let's, let's start! Goku and Jiren rush at an incredible speed that no one could see. Jiren tries to perform a blow, which Goku blocks with ease. His speed is incredible. Goku and Jiren begin to exchange blows and kicks that would make all the universe tremble. But Goku had the advantage because his blows were very fast and hit him squarely. Use all your power, Jiren. Don't hold back, said Goku while using the Ultra Instinct. I warn you that I've also trained very hard, Son Goku. Thanks to you, I have become stronger. Jiren would say and then unleash his full power to the maximum that would make absolutely everything tremble. Jiren, did you also master the Ultra Instinct? Said Goku with great astonishment. Jiren has mastered the Ultra Instinct! Woohoo! The Xenosamas expressed their excitement. Now, let's see this fight more interesting. Goku, who was intrigued to know how strong Jiren has become, launches himself against Jiren, throwing as many attacks as he could. Jiren dodged each and every one of them without much effort. The same energy of Goku's Ultra Instinct could be seen around his body. Jiren holds Goku up in the air and, with a twist, smashes his head against the ground. He hits and hits again and again, leaving absolutely the whole audience surprised by the momentary defeat of the King of Everything before Jiren. Keep it up, Jiren! You've beaten the king of everything! You're wrong, Vermouth. Son Goku, you asked me not to hold back. Now I'm asking you to use all of your power, Goku! If you continue like this, you could become a disciple of the High Priest of all, Jiren. Your power does not stop increasing. You have my respect, Jiren. I don't want to unleash my full power in this place, but I will unleash some of my power. Lord Goku, don't do it! said the High Priest worriedly. Goku's body was surrounded by a powerful aura that would burn and disintegrate you completely. Lightning would fall all over the multiverse, destroying planets and galaxies. Everything would tremble brutally without stopping, his hair totally shining white. Everyone would be astonished. Gods, angels, absolutely everyone would not stop trembling before Goku's power. At this rate, everything would be destroyed. It has to stop. There, Goku! That's it! The evolution of the perfect Ultra Instinct! There's something strange. He has an unimaginable power! It's as if he had trained that transformation for several years! Vados said impressed. Jiren would fall to the ground without being able to move any part of his body. But what is happening to me? Does his mere presence and aura make my body tremble non-stop? I don't think I stand a chance against Son Goku! Jiren would say, accepting his defeat, then everything would return to normal. In front of Jiren would appear Goku shaking his hand. Come on, Jiren, get up. If there is a warrior who is able to face me, without a doubt, it is you, Jiren. I hope to fight you again soon and finish our fight. I'm sorry, though. Right now, the tournament has to continue. Thank you very much for everything, Son Goku. I promise that the next time we fight, I will become stronger. I will surprise you. Goku returns to where the kings of all were to tell Daishinkin to continue because the tournament is about to come to an end and also apologize to the Xenosama and the public present for the chaos he caused in an instant. But what Goku didn't know is that a warrior kept staring at him. And that Saiyan warrior was Kalifla. Um... Goku felt that someone was staring at him. He looked at Kalifla, and in one quick movement, she turned around and looked away. Kalifla thought, He almost looked at me. The remaining warriors continued with the fight, while those who fought with Goku were still resting. Sister, why are you staring so much at Goku-sama? No, no, no. What are you saying, Kale? I wasn't looking at him. She said it nervously. 
Come on, Universe 6! You can defeat everyone! Don't be so confident, Champa. Universe 6 and 7? When are they going to learn that Universe 11 is better? Shut, Shut up, up Vermouth. Vermouth! While Goku talks with Daishinken. How did your fight go, my lord? It went well, you just have to try a little harder. I agree with you, my lord. Daishinken, what is it, my lord? I would like to pay a visit to Universe 7 together with you and the Xenosama, so you can get to know the Earth. That would please me and the Xenosama. Fine, I will talk to the Xenosama. Xenosama! What's up, Goku? Tomorrow, we'll go to Universe 7 so they can meet the Earth. That would be fun. Daishinken, can you announce that the tournament is over? Yes, my lord. Listen, warriors, the tournament has come to an end. You can all go to your respective universes, except Universe 7. I have to tell you something. What do you need to tell us, Goku-sama? Tomorrow, we will go to Universe 7, because I want my friends, the two Xenos and Daishinken, to meet the Earth and my other friends. They will gladly be welcome in my universe. Damn! I hope Goku-sama's friends don't mess it up. Today is the day that Goku, along with the Kings of Everything and Daishinken, will visit Universe 7, Planet Earth. While on Earth, Goku's friends found out that the Kings of Everything, along with the Great Priest, were coming to visit with Goku. They couldn't help but get nervous. Bulma was happy to see her husband, and Beerus, let's just say, he was 100% on edge. Well, as you know, Goku-sama, along with the Kings of Everything, and Daishinken-sama, are coming to visit. I hope they don't make him mad. Don't worry, Mr. Beerus. I hope so. The portal appears, and from there, Daishinken comes out, along with Goku and the two Xenosamas. Hello, friends! Goku! Goku! Goku. Yeah, Goku. Goku! They shouted very happy. In one quick move, Beerus kneels down in front of them. The others, when they saw that, did the same as Beerus. Calm down, you don't need to do that. This place is very nice, my lord. It's true, it looks very friendly. I'm glad you like the land, my lords. Goten, seeing his dad, runs to hug him. Hi, Goten. How have you been, son? Goten reciprocates his father's hug. Is that your son, Goku? Yeah, this is my youngest son, Goten. Goten greets them in a friendly manner, as do the two Xenos. They look very friendly. Do you want to play? Yes! Goten, together with the two Xenos, go to play while Goku stays talking with Daishinken and his friends. So tell me, Goku, how have you been doing being a king of everything? It's been going well. It's something new for me, but little by little, I'm getting used to it. I really congratulate you, Goku. Thank you, Yancha. I congratulate you. This planet pleases me a lot. This planet could be a better place to spend the day. Beerus, upon hearing Daishinkin's words, couldn't help but put on a proud smile. Goku, seeing Bulma, hugs her, and she hugs him back. Goku suddenly put on a serious face, confusing the others. Is something wrong, my lord? I sense something I don't like. At that moment, three key blasts hit Goku, but he repels them very easily. It's Goku! Damn. Ha 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 ha! You guys are... What? What are you three doing here? Today will be your death, you damn Saiyan! But how disrespectful to talk that way to Goku-sama. And who's the weird guy? Have more respect for the High Priest. You better get the hell off Earth right now, Freezer and Cooler. So, you're the Saiyan who humiliated my son, Freezer. You don't look strong. Goku-sama, wouldn't it be better to erase them from existence? Don't worry, Daishinkin. I know how to finish off these three lizards. Cooler was the first one to attack Goku to give him a blow, but he was surprised when Goku stopped the blow with a single finger. But what? I'm warning you, either you get out of here or you will suffer the consequences. Cooler throws multiple punches and kicks at him, but Goku would dodge them all with no problem. Goku punches him hard in the stomach, causing Cooler to spit up blood and recoil with his hands in the blow. Freezer and King Cold were very surprised by what just happened. How is it possible that an ape like Goku could have hurt Cooler so easily? I'm giving you the last warning, or you and your brother, along with your father, will be wiped out of existence! King Cold launches himself with a fast speed attack, hitting Goku, but he feels a pain in his body and realizes that he's disappearing. 
Everyone's mouths dropped open, but Freezer and Cooler watched in horror as Goku wiped out the cold demon like it was nothing. You're making me lose my patience. But who the hell are you? I am the most important god of the universes. I am the king of everything, Goku. What? No, 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 you're lying, you damn ape. Goku, with a speed that no one could see, gets behind him. Mind your words, Freezer. Freezer, in surprise, moves away from the Saiyan God. Goku raises his hand, but Freezer grabs his brother to leave the Earth. You won this time, Goku. If I see you around here again and you start causing trouble, I'll wipe you out of existence along with your brother. Wow, that was fast, my lord. After what happened, Goku continued talking with his friends. Well, I think it's almost time to go back to the palace. I'd like you to stay a little longer, father. Then come with us. I want to go too, daddy. I'll never forget you, Goten. It would be more fun. What a good idea you have, Goku. Mr. Beerus. What's going on, Goku-sama? I want you to keep an eye on Freezer and Cooler. I know they might be planning something. As you say, Goku-sama. Goku thinking, it's kind of weird, but it doesn't matter even though I'm not used to Goku-sama, but it doesn't bother me at all. Bye, friends. I will see you soon. Bye, Bye Goku. Goku. Bye, Bye, Goku. Goku. Goku, together with his two sons and Daishinkin with the Xenosamas, return to the palace. So, what do you think of the palace, children? It looks amazing. I'm glad you like it. Look, I'm sorry if I wasn't the best father to you, but I want you to know that I love you and I will always protect you. I'm sorry for leaving you alone, Gohan, and I'm sorry for not being at your birth, Goten. Don't, Don't worry, worry Dad. Dad. That's in the past. And we love you too. Daishinkin watched the scene with a smile, but inside he was about to cry because of so much tenderness. Thank you, children. Dad, how does it feel to be a king of everything? Let's just say it feels good. I want to be as strong as you, Dad. Me too. Someday, you will be. You should be proud of your sons, Goku. And I am. Goku, why does that freezer guy hate you? He hates me because I've killed him twice. He can't be trusted much. He's my enemy. We should erase him right now. Yeah, ever since I saw him, I don't like that guy. Don't worry, Mr. Beerus will take care of them. If he tries anything, we'll get him. That's the way to talk, Gohan. In the realm of Goku and the Xenosamas, Gohan and Goku were training a little when Goten played with the Xenosamas. In another part of the universe, the two cold devils were looking for the Dragon Spheres to revive two of Goku's enemies. I hope this plan works. Trust me. And who are you going to revive? I'm going to revive a guy that looks just like Goku and a Kaioshin. What? I heard that the Kaioshin and that guy hates humans and would be a great help to kill Goku. Well, at least I hope they're very strong. Don't worry, they will be. A few hours and minutes passed and Freezer and Cooler already found the Dragon Spheres, summoning Shenlong, and Freezer wished to revive Black and Zamasu. Who are you? I am the evil Emperor Freezer, and here is my brother Cooler. I am Zamasu, and he is Black. Since we are alive, Zamasu and I will begin our revenge. It'll be difficult for them. What do you mean? That bastard, believe it or not, is very powerful. That's no problem for us. Apparently you don't understand. That bastard says he's the king of everything. That miserable mortal is a liar. There is no way Goku is a king of everything. Come on, Zamasu. We don't have all that time. We'll go right now to kill that miserable son, Goku. Black and Zamasu fly at full speed to go to Earth, while Freezer and Cooler would only return to their ship. Goku was guarding the universe along with the two kings of everything. Since Gohan and Goten had to return to Earth, it was time for Goku to do his job. Everything is going well, but I have a feeling something bad will go to Earth, and I know it won't be Freezer or Cooler for now.
on Earth, everything was peaceful. Krillin was catching thieves, Bulma was taking care of Bra, Goten and Trunks were playing, Vegeta was training, Gohan was helping Videl take care of Pan and also visiting his mother. But what they didn't know is that two enemies are coming to attack the Earth. At that moment, the two enemies appear in the sky, one that had the same face as Goku with black clothes, and the other was a Kaioshin with green skin and white hair on one side. Those were Black and Zamasu. Ha 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 ha! We finally got to Earth! It's time to go kill those mortals! I agree with you, Black. Both of them, with a sinister smile, go to the Capsule Corporation, where Vegeta and the warriors were gathered because they felt two evil energies. I wonder who those two guys are. Those two evil energies look familiar. I hope they're not the ones I think they are. Hello, Vegeta. Everyone turns around and is surprised to see Black and a Kaioshin in the sky giving a sinister smile to the Z-Warriors. It can't be. Grr, the insect Black and the stupid Zamasu. More respect for a miserable mortal god. I hope you're ready, because today, you will all die! In the palace of Zeno-sama and Goku. I hope all my friends and Vegeta are well. Returning to planet Earth. Grr, how the heck are you alive, you damn insects? That doesn't matter. What matters is that you will all die. Prepare yourselves, you miserable mortals! Not if I avoid it! Gohan gets into a fighting pose. Uh, Gohan, you fight Zamasu, I fight Black. Well, good luck, Vegeta. I don't need luck. You will need it, because I'm going to kill you in a few minutes. You'll see, you rascal. Vegeta launches an attack on Black, who only waits with a sinister smile, starting to exchange blows with Vegeta, while Gohan and Zamasu only look at each other with a serious face. I can't believe that a Kaioshin like you would be next to a damn assassin like Black. You're supposed to keep the Earth in peace, but all you do is destroy it. Are we here to fight, or are we here to talk? I don't care what you say. Gohan and Zamasu start to fight. Zamasu activates his key sword to try and bury Gohan. The waves of blows could be heard everywhere. All their attacks made the Earth tremble. At that moment, Beerus appears along with the Angel Whis. What's going on here? Black and that guy Zamasu appeared on Earth, but don't worry. Vegeta and Gohan are fighting them. I thought Xenosama from the future had erased them from existence. Something tells me that Freezer and Cooler had something to do with it. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to eliminate those two stupid people when I see them. In the fight, Vegeta had some advantage, but Black was slowly winning the fight because he became very strong when Vegeta hit them very hard. On the other hand, Gohan was having some problems with Zamasu, but he would increase his power a little bit by giving Zamasu a few hits. Let's make this more interesting. Vegeta transforms into Super Saiyan God Phase 2. <laughs> Okay, now it's my turn. Black transforms into Super Saiyan Rose. Both attack with both fists. Black, having trained, was giving Vegeta trouble, but Vegeta would manage to hit him in the stomach, but Black recovers and gives him a kick that sends Vegeta crashing. Vegeta! Zamasu takes advantage of Gohan being distracted and kicks Gohan, making Gohan move away. Uh, you'll pay for that. Accept your miserable fate, you stupid mortals. Shut up! Gohan was about to attack Black, but Zamasu holds him and Black starts hitting Gohan, causing Gohan to spurt some blood. Zamasu releases Gohan, letting him fall down weakly. Uh, damn you! Vegeta attacks them, but Black and Zamasu dodge Vegeta's blows with ease. Black and Zamasu give a big punch to Vegeta's stomach, making him writhe in pain. You're weak. What can you expect from a mere mortal? If I were you two, I'd get the hell out of here right now! That voice, it's from, it's Goku. That's right, Goku had arrived just in time to stop Black and Zamasu, since he was watching what was happening on Earth and decided to come as soon as possible. Black and Zamasu, you're alive and something tells me that Freezer and Cooler had something to do with it. So, you finally showed up, you dirty mortal. We were about to kill your friends, 
but we have to kill you first. Do you still think you guys can complete your stupid zero human plan? Of course we can. Neither you nor anyone else is going to stop us. Do you really intend to fight me? Believe it or not, Black, I am much stronger than you, and you better listen to me or else you'll force me to erase you from existence. Watch your words, you stupid mortal. Black tries to hit Goku, but he feels a great pain in his belly and realizes that Goku had hit him without realizing it. Zamasu is surprised by that and decides to help Black, but Goku quickly appears in front of him, kicking him in the face, making Zamasu crash. I don't like to underestimate my opponents too much, but neither of you two will be able to defeat me. You know why? Because I am the new king of all, ruler of all universes! Don't say stupid things! I'll get you for this, you mortal bastard! Black transforms into Super Saiyan Rose, and Zamasu pulls out his key sword, making both of them attacking Goku. But Goku just stayed calm and did nothing, blocking all of Black's blows with a single blow, stopping Zamasu's sword with his hands, and then breaking it. Black and Zamasu were surprised that Goku stopped his attacks without any problem. Or worst of all for them, is that Goku was only in base state. But how is that possible? Is it true what the damned mortal said? That he was the new king of everything? The ruler of all the universes? No! No, no, no! You've got to be kidding me! Believe me or not, I'm already at a level you guys will never reach! Uh, damn you, Goku! Black throws key blasts at him, hitting Goku from behind, having a big smoke to disappear. And there was no trace of Goku. Black smiled, thinking he had defeated Goku, but it wasn't because he felt someone behind him, and when he turned around, he saw Goku looking at him with a serious face. Those attacks didn't hurt me at all. But how is that possible? Zamasu said very surprised. Goku gives a good punch to Black, making Black spit blood. Black moves away from Goku in pain from the blow. Leave the Earth immediately! Okay, we'll leave, but soon you will pay for this, Goku! It's not going to stay like this, you bastard! I swear you're going to regret it! Goku was now in his palace talking to Daishinkin about the appearance of Black and Zamasu. I don't know how the hell those guys revived. Do you know them, Mr. Goku? Yes, they are two very strong enemies that we defeated in the future. Their names are Black and Zamasu. Zamasu? Isn't he the student of the Supreme Kaiosama of Universe 10? Yeah, that's him. I can't believe that a Kaioshin is your enemy, Mr. Goku. Those two are cursed. That black was the same as Zamasu, but he stole my body and killed Milk and Goten. That means that the Zamasu from the present stole your body in a timeline, and the other one from the future was your ally. You're right, Daishinkin. I know that time travel is a crime. Wiz warned me and my two friends, well, my rivals. I understand, but it can't be repeated. In fact, I was always curious about that apprentice from Universe 10. Did you know about Zamasu? I kind of did, but I did sense some evil in him. They destroyed the future. They killed innocent people. And remembering that makes me angry. I worry about the Earth. I know they will come back, and they will want to challenge me again. You should wipe them out of existence. I trust that Gohan, Vegeta, and the others will take care of it. If I wipe them out of existence so easily, my friends won't be able to increase their powers, and they will always be relying on me. Those two guys named Freezer and Cooler give me a bad feeling. I feel that some very old enemies will come after you, Mr. Goku. I know they're not going to believe that I'm the king of everything, but I don't care now. What matters is to do my job well. When I see Freezer and Cooler, they'll both have to deal with me. How many enemies have you defeated, my lord? Many. I knew that Freezer and Cooler were behind this. They surely have the Dragon Spheres. They both kept talking until a voice interrupted them. Hello, Father, and hello, Goku-sama. They both turn around and see an angel next to a Saiyan woman. Vados, Kale, what a surprise to see you both. Hello, daughter. Hello, Miss Kale. What brings you both here? Miss Kale wanted to go see Goku-sama to talk to him. Kale, a little shy, approaches Goku to greet him with respect. Hello, Goku-sama. It's a pleasure to see you again. She says very shyly. Hi, Kale. Nice to see you again. Mr. Goku-sama, how did you become the king of everything? Well... It was a decision of the Xenosamas, and believe me, Kale, I was very surprised by the news. Wow! First time a Saiyan like you is chosen to be someone very important. Yeah. From there, I gave the news to my friends, and they were surprised, but in the end, they understood. Well, let's just say that my friend or rival Vegeta was very jealous. You mean Kyabi's teacher? That man has a grumpy face. 
It's just that Vegeta has always been like that. Serious and proud. Tell me about yourself, Kale. Well, I'm a very shy Saiyan, and I like to be with my sister all the time, since she is my only family. Kale, I have a question. What kind of question would that be? Why did you hate me? I was afraid that you would take my sister away from me. I understand. I would never take your sister away from you. I'm sorry if I told you not to get in the way of that fight. It's just, I was so excited that sometimes I don't like it when people interrupt fights. Don't worry. The good thing is that tournament is finally over. Yeah. And how is Caulifla? She's fine. When the tournament of power ended, she spent all day training in order to have her rematch against you. <laughs> Looks like Vegeta isn't the only one. Kiabe sometimes trains to be strong like her master. That's good that they train so that they can improve their level of lethality. You don't seem like a bad person. I'm not bad. I'm good. Well, I know I was responsible for that tournament, but that taught the gods a good lesson to do their job well. Goku and Kale were still talking and Kale started to like Goku more. And it was time to go back to Universe 6, so she said goodbye to Goku. Goodbye, Mr. Goku-sama. Goodbye, Kale. It was nice talking to you. Meanwhile, somewhere in Universe 7, Goku's enemies Freezer, Cooler, Black, and Zamasu were gathered. So you saw for yourselves the new power that Goku has obtained by being the new king of everything? That damned mortal. I don't care what he's become. He's going to pay for it. We must come up with a plan to exterminate him once and for all. We have to be quick. Remember that if Goku wants to, he can erase us from existence whenever he wants. That damn Saiyan is a big problem. Let's go back to look for the Dragon Spheres and ask for immortality for each of us. That won't work, unless we make that wish to the Dragon God Zarama like Zamasu already did. What good is immortality if we don't have enough power to kill that damn Saiyan? In that case, we will unite our powers and become a single immortal being. The strongest power in the multiverse, with which we will finish off that cursed Goku and dominate absolutely the entire multiverse! Suddenly, the whole multiverse starts to shake. <gasps> What's wrong? At that moment, a great flash in Universe 7 would appear. Can't be possible! What is this power? My body won't stop shaking! The most powerful fusion between mortals and immortals would appear. Curious, the fusion between Zamasu, Black, Freezer, and Cooler. Good! Now that we're up and running, it's time to go to Zarama, the Dragon God! In the blink of an eye, the fusion would be in front of the Super Dragon Balls and already had them in their possession, thus invoking Zarama by entering the core of their existence to then ask him for immortality before the King of Everything could erase them from existence. The Dragon God would grant his wish and then disappear. The body of the fusion would shine brightly, obtaining immortality before Goku could erase them all. Meanwhile, in the Palace of the King of Everything, is something wrong, Mr. Goku? It looks very strange. That's right, Daishinkin. I have a bad feeling that something is going to happen on Earth. In that case, let's observe what is happening. While observing the planet with Goku by means of his staff, Goku's friends in the Capsule Corporation were still on the planet because they felt that Goku's enemies would return at any moment. Something is wrong, Mr. Vegeta. Is it because of the tremor a few moments ago? Uh, that wasn't some minor tremor. I felt an unimaginable power which caused my body to not stop shaking. Something bad is about to happen. I feel it. At that moment, a voice was heard. Now we will finish you! Who is that? Goku's friends were perplexed and nervous. Curious raises his hand. All of you, kneel before me. Before the great Curious. The most powerful fusion. We decide who lives and who dies. At that of a flash, <laughs> this, this is. Krillin had been pierced in the chest. D 
damn you! It was so fast I couldn't even see it move! But what power? I never thought all those bastards would work! On the other side of the palace... What will you do, Mr. Goku? Won't you help your friends? Not yet. If I do, as long as a threat appears, they will be confident of my help. They must take care of this by themselves. If not, their power levels will never increase. However, if things continue in a bad path, I will be forced to go finish those bastards myself and give an end once and for all to my enemies. Meanwhile, on planet Earth, Vegeta would begin to charge with an attack. But at that moment, the Kiris fusion was behind the Prince of the Saiyans and hitting him and hitting ten simple blows that would break the Saiyans' bones. The fusion throws him to the ground, dying. Gohan would try to attack the fusion, but Kyrius with his gaze would paralyze Gohan to send him against the mountains. Then Kyrius creates a gigantic spear to pierce Gohan. Goku, who witnessed this, would scream. Vegeta! Gohan! In the blink of an eye, he teleports from the king's palace all the way to the front of the fusion in his ultra instinct state, driving his fist into the face of the fusion, sending Kyrius away. Vegeta! Gohan, resist! Quickly, get closer to give them a hermit seed, and don't forget about Krillin! Goku would say, referring to his friends. While Trunks and Goten were on their way to give them seeds, Kyrius would launch a powerful attack against the Little Saiyan. But Goku would manage to deflect it with some difficulty. Uh, those bastards! I'm gonna make them pay! Vegeta shouted and transformed into Super Saiyan God Phase 2. Piccolo and Tien attacked the fusion at the same time, but seconds later, they were both covered in blood on the ground. Don't take it personally, mortals. You will always be the most insignificant. Wow, Goku. You didn't hesitate to come here even for a second. Now prepare for your death, you damn Saiyan. Now you have exhausted my patience. You should have been grateful that my nobility gave you one opportunity after another. But you clearly don't value your lives. So now you will be erased from existence, cursed ones! Goku would raise his hand to eliminate Kyrius from existence. But at the moment of trying to erase them from existence, absolutely nothing would happen. The body of Kyrius would be totally intact. <laughs> now it's my turn! Die! is what you deserve! The fusion was about to kill Goku when that moment... Kakarot, let me fight! You need to get some rest! Vegeta, those bastards have somehow achieved incredible power! Damn you! How dare you hit me! I'll kill you! The fusion would charge with a superpower, but in the blink of an eye, the power of the fusion would disappear. Goku, who had already recovered, managed to dissipate Kyrius's power. Damn you! I swear I won't forgive you! What the hell did you do? Not only did you get unlimited power, but you're immune to my technique! So I couldn't erase you from existence! I have no choice but to destroy you! Kneel before me! Cursed monkey king of everything! Before the great curious, we decide who lives, and who dies, and who will be made to dust. Cursed Saiyan, after gathering our mighty ones into a single being, we wait to the god of dragons, the creator of the super dragon balls, and he granted us the wish of immunity to your technique, because we knew that you could erase us at any moment. Everything is going as planned. Now prepare for your death! Uh, I swear, I will not forgive them for what they have done! I will kill them! Goku attacks the fusion. The fusion, with a great force, is launched against Goku. Both beings were in an exchange of attacks, launching multiple techniques which would destroy the entire battlefield. As the minutes passed, both were very evenly matched. <sighs> Damn, Sam. Don't you plan to use all your power? Damn. 
If I unleash all of my power, the planet will be severely affected to the point that it would explode. Unless I create a protective field. Goku unknowingly created a protective field so as not to wreak havoc on his former planet. I don't need to use all my power to finish you, damn it, but 30% will be more than enough! The most powerful being of the multiverse would have appeared. Goku would pass to a phase never seen before. The evolution of the perfect Ultra Instinct. Damn you! How dare you humiliate us like that! If you think that with that ridiculous power you can defeat us, you're wrong! I will show you power! The games are over! Goku would say, appearing behind the fusion, hitting him in the neck, and then throwing millions of punches in the blink of an eye, causing the fusion to get hurt badly. This is awesome! I never thought my dad would become the new king of everything! Now he has unlimited power! Damn you! Who do you think you are? So you wanna fight for real? I'll show you what I'm capable of! Because I'm the new king of everything! Ruler of all the universes! Goku and the fusion would increase their power, so both would throw themselves against each other, throwing themselves with all their power. Both beings were hitting against each other, destroying absolutely everything on the battlefield, while making the whole multiverse tremble, despite the barrier that Goku had created. They exchanged millions of attacks per second. Goku launches a Super Kamehameha, however the fusion makes a technique disintegrating Goku's attack. <sighs> Damn it! It's stronger than I thought! Curious appears behind Goku, throwing rays which Goku cannot stop. At that moment, the fusion opens its mouth, launching a powerful attack, disintegrating everything. Goku could barely dodge it, but would nevertheless receive a strong kick, crashing to the ground. It's very powerful. The fusion appears in front of Goku. He was about to kill him, but Goku launches a ball of energy that would go through Kiris' stomach. However, the fusion would regenerate. It can't be! I'm immortal! You can't kill me! Kiris grabs Goku's head and drags him to the ground. Goku barely manages a scream. Akai! Nothing would happen, though. Did you think that with that weak technique you could eliminate me? Allow me to show you how it's done! At that, the fusion would raise its hands, creating hundreds of portals. From them would appear many balls of energy filled with Hakai. Goku couldn't dodge them. Damn you! Goku could not dodge these attacks, receiving them in full, and falls to the ground very hurt. Dragon Punch! That's all you got! Understand your place! He was able to stop my attack! The fusion was about to disintegrate Goku. When at that moment, his eyes would glow and appear behind Curious, who would instantly receive many attacks, crashing into some rocks. What? What's going on? Goku would have activated a technique, which was to see the future. Curious, without knowing anything, attacks Goku, but he dodges them all and then launches a powerful Kamehameha. What's going on? It's unbelievable how much power that damn Kakarot has now! At that, Daishinken would communicate with Goku through his mind, telling him, I found the weak point of the fusion, Mr. Goku. As it is a fusion between mortals and immortals, if you manage to disintegrate them completely, they will be exterminated in their entirety. Goku in his mind, Thank you, Daishinken. It's time to end this! Goku does his best attack. Just like that, being totally pulverized. Gohan could hardly speak as he was so surprised. 
<gasps> you, you ended the fusion of those bastards! <laughs> I think I went a little overboard, Vegeta. <laughs> Said Goku, who was already in his base state. Kakarot, what was that power? My power seemed tiny compared to yours. I didn't do anything. Mr. Goku, you're impressive. Said Whis, who was with Beerus watching the fight from a place in the Capsule Corporation. It's you, Whis and Beerus. Before you kneel before me, Beerus, there's no need. Beerus, who was about to kneel, would stop. I'm so proud of you, father. Gohan would say, and then Goku's friends would also congratulate Goku. Well done, You're amazing, Goku. Goku. Well done, Goku. You're well amazing, done. Goku. Whis would heal the wounds of Goku and his friends. Suddenly, Goku grows a tail. Uh, that's weird. Why is that tail white? Well done, Goku. You finally got rid of those vermin. Now planet Earth will be at peace. This will be the last time I help you, Krillin. If I helped you, it was because those four were my problems and my enemies. But I won't always be here. Otherwise, your power levels will remain the same and you'll never get stronger. So don't stop training and be prepared for any threat. Father, I will tell my mom what happened. She'll be very proud of you and also of you, Mr. Vegeta. Vegeta would be ashamed to hear Goku's words since the one who was in charge of putting an end to the whole fusion was Goku. Good. It's time for me to get back to work. Take care, guys. See you next time. Goodbye, Goodbye Goku. Goku. Bye, Goku. Farewell, Kakarot. Goku, already back in the palace. Tell me, Mr. Goku, how did it go? For a moment, it almost got complicated for you. I could have finished them off from the beginning, but if I unleashed more power, I could have exploded the planet. Hey, Daishinkin, I was thinking, you know, you have to handle the Super Dragon Balls with much more care and supervision, in case another enemy or threat takes advantage of it in the future. At your command, my lord, I will take care of it myself. You came back, Goku. Yay! Let's play! I could use a little distraction, so let's go! So Goku would play with Xenosama, and after this event, about a month would go by. This time I'll be able to beat you, insect! Vegeta would be training with Goku on the planet of Beerus, as he had been granted a small vacation, so the king of all, Son Goku, had sent a few gods which helped Vegeta become very strong. You still need more speed, Vegeta! I uh, know, Kakarot! I knew this training wasn't going to be easy! Good! Let's keep going! Goku said when suddenly a tremor manifested itself throughout the 12 universes. Ugh, what's going on? Meanwhile, in the palace of the king of everything... Strange. I recognize this power. At that, Xenosama of the present appears next to Daishinken. Daishinken, it has apparently broken. That seal from three billion years ago. What? That's impossible. Something terrifying is about to happen. I'd better warn all the angels and gods about what's about to happen. If those bastards show up again, I'll finish them off in an instant. Said Xenosama very seriously, while Daishinkin was looking everywhere when suddenly appeared nothing more and nothing less than Miruem, the former king of all gods. Xenosama was very worried, and he would say to himself, How did you break my seal? Breaking your seal was very easy. How is it that you can read my mind? Xenosama, if you don't know, I have already surpassed you. The difference in power between us is abysmal. Xenosama, very desperate, shouted, Disappear! Extending his hand to pulverize the deity, but it didn't work. I told you, Xenosama, damn dwarf, didn't you hear me? I am more powerful. Now die! Miroam attacked Xenosama, but would be stopped by the two guardians. Hmm, good. Two more scum to be eliminated. The two guardians of Xenosama attack Miroam with all their might, but the deity unleashing his power would cut both guardians in two. That was a good warm-up. Suddenly, Miroam throws a power to the king of all, but he would have activated a barrier. However, Miroam gives a scream, breaking the barrier of Xenosama and hitting him hard, leaving him on the verge of death in a second. 
Miroem charges a small sphere containing the power to destroy the entire universe. It's time for you to die once and for all. In all this time that I was locked up, I trained non-stop so that someday I could take revenge, Xenosama. I will be the new king of everything! But then, Daishinken appears and performs a technique, sending him to another universe. Daishinken, when using that technique, would fall to the ground very hurt. Xenosama, escape from here! I will stop him! Suddenly, the deity appears behind Xenosama! But what? All this time I've been locked up, I've been training non-stop so that someday I can take revenge, Xenosama! But I sent him far away! It's impossible for him to have so much speed! I will be the new king of everything! The deity at great speed grabs Daishinken and making a technique in which he would lock Daishinken for millions of years. That was easy. From now on, I will be the new king of everything! On the other hand, Goku was approaching his house. When he arrived, he saw that everything was totally destroyed. Huh? But... Chi-Chi! Goten! Suddenly, someone appears with the bodies of Chi-Chi and Goten, totally covered in blood. Were you looking for this, Goku? Goku is shocked to see his family dead at the hands of a totally dark being. Uh, no! Did you do this? Time is running out. We're coming back. Said the dark entity, to then disappear and appear behind Goku, and with one look, paralyzes Goku. What the hell? You are in very interesting Saiyan, but you could ruin my plans. My name is Zyko. I'm very powerful, and you have a hidden power that I have never seen. That's why I will have to eliminate you. Goku was too furious as tears came out of his eyes. Damn, damn. I don't mind being eliminated, but why? Why did you have to kill Chi Chi and Goten? I will never. I'll never forgive you! Goku had transformed into the perfect selfish doctrine of evolution, leaving the angel very impressed. Hmm, I thought so. You surpassed the power of the High Priest. Goku, in the blink of an eye and at great speed, hits a powerful blow in the face of the deity, crashing with some rocks, but the angel would get up without any scratch, and this would begin to raise all its power to 80%. Goku also raises his power, so both being a celestial combat, the particles of the Earth would disintegrate. The entire universe would begin to tremble left and right. The fight was very evenly matched until... This guy's really too strong. Mm, that hurt me a lot. Thanks for the training. You're very strong, but it's time to get serious. The Saiyan, very furious, goes to hit the angel, but the deity with the blink of an eye would break most of Goku's bones. Goku draws a lot of blood while screaming from the pain. <laughs> I told you I'm very strong, and a mere mortal like you would not be able to defeat me. Uh, you're wrong, damn you! A mere mortal couldn't finish you, but a mortal who became the king of everything can! In that, Goku would receive a great blow being sent away. However, the Saiyan appears behind the angel, counter-attacking, and thus throwing him a ball of energy in the back. Suddenly disappeared to a mindscape. Huh? Where am I? That man is Psycho, and he is very powerful. Even if you are able to defeat him, you will never be able to defeat the rest of the multiversal angels. And above all, against the ancient king of all gods. They're immune to your technique of erasing from existence. Your only option is for me to grant you my power. 
If you work with me, we will be invincible, because I am the first original Super Saiyan God. No, I can sense something strange inside of you. You're just like the wretch that killed my family. I was once, in the past. I had the power to overcome the king of everything. But they locked me in here, and the only way to get out is to form us into a single being. I will be inside of you. Besides, it is most likely that at this moment, Miruem, the ancient king of all gods, has already finished with Daishinken and Xenosama. That earthquake a few moments ago was the moment when the seal of millions of years was broken. Along with them, the multiversal angels were also released. That bastard killed my family. I have to avenge them. And if what you're saying is true, I will have no choice but to take revenge for Xenosama and Daishinken. I knew that that tremor was about something. I had a bad feeling. I should have returned to the palace at that time, but I decided to come say goodbye to my family. And if that guy is as strong as you say, to fulfill my revenge, I will have no choice but to work with you. God, Super Saiyan. If you work with me, you will get a gigantic power. But however, as I am locked up, you will have to break the four seals to get 100% of all my power. Then I have no choice. Let's work together. You choose well, Son Goku. From now on, you will be the most powerful warrior of the multiverses. I have full confidence in you that you will defeat everyone. Goku would have fused with the power of an angel god, getting a new transformation, which was the Doctrine Ego Saita Evolution Phase 3, creating several dimensional gaps and gradually destroying the planet Earth. The new power obtained from Goku would be felt by every corner of the universes. Goku was no longer the same as before. This would have a totally different key and a heart full of coldness. Zyko was perplexed. How come? At that moment, Goku raised his hand and pierced the angel with thousands of energy balls, making him crash to the ground. And then Goku appeared in front of him and said, You've come this far, you bastard. Goku would create a portal from which would come out thousands of powers with the angel receiving this would fall seriously injured. Just who the hell are you? That doesn't matter to you, but I'm the king of all universes, and my duty is to defend and protect this multiverse from trash like you. Said Goku to then destroy the angel with a small technique that would instantly disintegrate him. Goku quickly falls to the ground on the verge of death. Uh, this, this power is incredible. I told you, but this guy you just killed, he was one of the weakest angels, Goku. Now to master the power you have, you will have to train. Well, if there's no other way, that's what I'll do. My lord, we have found the son of the Super Saiyan God. Well, where is he? He is on a planet called Earth. His name is Goku. And from what I noticed, he inherited the same powers as his father. Damn you. That Saiyan can give me a lot of trouble. Well, we have to kill him immediately, my lord. Remember that three billion years ago, that Saiyan God called Bardock fought against you and almost defeated you. You're right. Quickly, go eliminate him. Bring him to me, dead or alive. As you command, my lord. In another place. I have to avenge the death of my family and friends. As the king of everything, my duty is to eliminate those damn angels. I have to break my limits and master my new power. 
Goku was training in the Room of Time, and the Saiyan was gradually mastering his new power. However, as time passed, his heart was filling more and more coldness. Son Goku, control yourself! If you let your thirst for revenge get the better of you, you could die! I know, but it's very difficult to master this power. Even your best effort. Goku would train for three years inside the Time Room, thus mastering 75% of the evolution of the Perfect Ultra Instinct Phase 3, acquiring new skills and techniques. I think with your current power, you will be more than enough to kill some angels. You still need more training, but in the meantime, go and kill all the angels you can, Goku. The Saiyan, already prepared, leaves the Room of Time. This one, when leaving, is surprised a little, saying, Huh? But what is this? Goku would see that the entire temple was totally destroyed. He would quickly go to the Capsule Corporation. The Saiyan, while flying, would see that all the cities were destroyed. What? What the hell happened here? Goku arrives at Bulma's house when suddenly he would see Vegeta, who was being totally defeated, tortured, and massacred by an angel. The Saiyan, without saying anything, goes into the Ultra Instinct and hits the angel, sending him away. Vegeta! I'm so sorry I'm late! <laughs> Kakarot, kill that wretch! <sighs> that wretch killed everyone! Goku, hearing this, would be filled with rage and anger. Please, Kakarot, eliminate him and avenge the death of our friends, said the Prince of the Saiyans, and then instantly Goku's heart would ache and he would begin to unleash a totally dark aura from his body. You miserable bastard! Goku, calm down! Goku would calm down, saying, <sighs> You bastard! Why? Why the hell did you do this? Wow! So you're Son Goku. You have amazing power. You remind me a lot of your father, Bardock. He had the same character and power as you. Goku, in an instant, pierces the angel's stomach, leaving him perplexed. I will kill you, even if it costs me my life. I'm the king of everything, and this is the end of your pathetic life. So the angel would receive millions of blows in seconds. It would fall to the ground, drawing a large amount of blood. Uh. So this is the power of a Saiyan. <laughs> you are strong, but nevertheless. Suddenly, the angel would regenerate, leaving Goku impressed. Bid farewell to this Saiyan world. The angel makes a technique, leaving Goku blind. This way was taking advantage of it, throws many energy blasts, but nevertheless, Goku would dodge each one of these attacks without any problem. How could you dodge my attacks? Goku, without saying anything, appears in front of the angel, throwing a powerful punch, which the deity covers up and stops the impact of the attack. This is going to be very entertaining. I'll get you for this, Goku said, and then both began to hit each other, exchanging hundreds of thousands of attacks instantly, destroying absolutely everything on the battlefield. Good! It's time for me to show you my true power! Goku transforms into the perfect Ultra Instinct and in the blink of an eye, creates a ball of energy and throws it at the angel, who disintegrates it with his gaze. Well, you are someone to be feared. From what I felt, you have the same power that the first original Super Saiyan God used to have, don't you? That's right. <laughs> don't make me laugh, mortal. Your power doesn't even resemble that of the original first Super Saiyan God. You're just another weak mortal. Suddenly, Goku is pierced by a super attack and falls to the ground badly wounded. That's all you got, Saiyan? Goku, with a slight laugh, clenches his fists and begins to fill with rage, absorbing all his desire for revenge and in a bestial way injecting his divine key. The angel is shocked to see that. Uh, that technique... That technique belongs to the first original Super Saiyan God! I told you! Now you die! So Goku would have passed to his second form in the Perfect Ultra Instinct state. Impossible! 
You can't possess such a power! Suddenly, Goku gathers a great amount of divine ki, saying, Dragon Strike! The angel, after receiving a blow, would begin to disappear when suddenly Goku is pierced with a sword. Our Saiyan hero falls to the ground, totally detransformed, while drawing a lot of blood. My lord, thank you for saving me. I told you not to underestimate him. Saiyan are to be feared. Yes, my lord, sorry. You're just scum. You're no good to me. Said the angel, and then with his eyes disintegrated his servant. What? But who is that guy? Goku, escape as fast as you can. Goku would try to escape when suddenly... And where do you think you're going? This is just the beginning. Goku, in his base state, throws a punch at the deity, while he parries with one hand and in a second gives him a knee to the stomach along with a big punch in the face, leaving Goku on the verge of death. So you're supposed to be the new king of everything. I didn't think you were so weak. And who are you? I am the ancient king of the whole god of gods that was locked up three billion years ago. The strongest being. Not even your father Bardock, the Saiyan God, could do anything against me. My father? You can't possibly know my father! Your father has the ability to travel through time. That's how I met him. I'll end this once and for all! Goku would try to transform, but he couldn't. Ugh, damn you, you wretch! Why do you want to kill me? You are a threat to me. You say it are a fast-growing race. And you is the supposed king of everything. Besides, you're the son of that Bardock, the Super Saiyan God. You have a hidden power that can kill everyone. That's why I will eliminate you. The deity charges a super energy ball. Goku closed his eyes and said to himself, Is this the end of me? No. I am the king of everything and the most powerful Saiyan. I can't lose against this bastard! Son Goku, I have no choice but to lend you all of my power. I warn you that you can use it for a few seconds, but you risk dying. I'm going to die anyway. Give me all the power! As you wish, Son Goku. This is the power of the first original Super Saiyan God! <laughs> Goku would have reached a new phase called Ultra Perfect Celestial Instinct. What the hell? How did he get all that power? It's the same phase as a few moments ago, but his power is completely different. You miserable bastard! You'll pay for everything you've done to me! You'll suffer the consequences of provoking the king of everything! The Saiyan without any movement disappears. Where did he go? What a speed! Suddenly, Miroem receives a blow, drawing blood, and then a big knee in the stomach, sending him flying. What a great speed, and his strength is incomparable. But how did he get all that power in an instant? This is going to be fun. At that moment, Goku joins his hands to lock the deity. Infinite Multiplier! Miroem would receive, in a matter of seconds, a huge amount of attacks all over his body that would leave him totally wounded. The deity falls defeated to the ground. I told you you'd pay for this, you bastard! Goku grabs the deity to charge a small ball of energy that contained the power to exterminate an entire universe. It's time for you to die! Forever, you bastard! Goku was about to finish with the deity when suddenly... Did you really think you could defeat me with those simple blows? How come? Miroem, with his gaze, sends Goku flying, causing him to crash into some rocks. The deity gets up while all his wounds are quickly restored. I admit that your power is unmatched by anyone. You are the first being that could ever hurt me. What the hell? 
How did he regenerate so fast? Goku teleports in front of the deity to try to connect a punch, but he would be stopped. Is that really all you have, Saiyan? You're not the only one who has more power to release. The deity drags Goku all over the place. Damn! Goku, quickly trying to counterattack, would create many portals by launching thousands of attacks at the deity. But Miroem, with the blink of an eye, would close all the portals. Damn it! How is that possible? At that moment, the deity had noticed Vegeta, who was absolutely unconscious, on the floor. Miroem would charge a power quickly towards the direction where Vegeta was. Goku, realizing the intention of the deity, would quickly cover Vegeta with a barrier, disappearing the power of the deity. Damn you! Your fight is with me! Who you want is me! There's no need to mess with him! How attentive you are, Saiyan! Pay close attention from now on, because it's time to show you 70% of my power! I just hope this universe can withstand it! Prepare for your death! What the hell? You are not the only one with transformations! I am an angel, the ancient king of all gods, the most powerful being, and a deity of the multiverse. So right now, I will end this damn thing. Your power will be mine. So much for our meeting, Goku. Is my end near? Pathetic mortal, you thought you could defeat me? What the heck? I don't care what you are. I will end your life right now and protect this multiverse because I am the king of everything and I will end you if it's the last thing I do! But what? It's impossible! How come you're still alive? Goku would have reached 50% mastery of his new transformation. Both deities would start attacking each other. You can never defeat me! Get ready, damn you! The fight of Goku and the deity would be very evenly matched until Miroem would use his 100% power. Goku could not match the deity's power, thus being totally defeated. <sighs> if this keeps up, I'm going to die. Without a doubt, he's the most powerful being I've ever faced. At that, Miroem would start torturing Goku, who would scream in pain while the deity would laugh, saying, <laughs> You're just scum! Remember that you always will be! The deity would begin to destroy each of Goku's bones. Goku couldn't even speak as he was feeling such a great pain. Goku recoils in pain. Ah, damn you! Son Goku, before exterminating you, I want to tell you that it was me who killed all your friends. I sent my subordinates to destroy you. Goku heard this and went blank, saying in a low voice, What? But my family... My... my friends... You? You were the one who did all of this? My life was perfect until my friends died. How could you take them away from me? I won't be able to... Don't do it, Son Goku! Stop it! I won't be able to stop myself anymore! I will never forgive you! NEVER! Goku would have 100% perfected the Phase 3 Heavenly Ultra Perfect Instinct transformation. I will fucking kill you! I will destroy every part of your bones so that you will feel the pain! Goku, using absolutely all his power, launched himself against the Angel, creating dimensional portals and pulverizing everything around him. The deity was trembling with fear. This can't be happening. I will kill you! This can't be happening! No!
It's over for me. My time to die has come. At that time, in the palace of the King of Everything appeared the great priest Daishinken, who was locked up and sealed by Meruem. But what happened? I was locked up for millions of years. What am I doing here? Did you... Did you manage to get rid of that bastard? And Mr. Goku, where is he? I'd better get a hold of him right now. Daishinken, in the blink of an eye, would realize Goku's presence in Universe 7, and without a second's thought, he would teleport to the place where the king of everything Goku was. Apparently, he did not feel Miroem's presence in the multiverse. Daishinken would notice the place, observing Vegeta and Goku on the verge of death, lying on the floor. Kakarot, please! You have to avenge the death of our friends! Vegeta would repeat unconsciously. Daishinken would approach and heal both of them in a second. However, Goku still wouldn't wake up. Vegeta wakes up and quickly gets into a fighting pose. Uh, but it's you, Daishinken. Vegeta would notice Goku. But if Kakarot's fainted, did he get it? And where are those bastards? Don't tell me that Kakarot bug took care of defeating them. Vegeta would say, proudly impressed. I see that Mr. Vegeta was unconscious while the events took place. Daishinken, what will happen from now on? Absolutely all the angels, gods of destruction, and Kaioshin were exterminated, according to what that bastard told me before he fell unconscious. Just then, Goku would finally wake up. What? But where am I? What happened? It's a great joy that you've finally woken up, Mr. Goku. What? But it's you, Daishinken. Does that also mean that the Xenosamas are alive too? Unfortunately, no. That bastard took care of eliminating them, along with the Guardians. I'm very sorry, Son Goku. Don't worry, Daishinken. For a moment, I thought there was a possibility that the Xenosama would be found alive. Goku would say with tears in his eyes. So you finally woke up, insect. What happened, Kakarot? Vegeta, I'm glad to see you safe. Honestly, this time I thought that evil would win. Just when he was about to defeat one of his subordinates, came the cursed Miruem, the former king of all gods, and avoided it but ended up pulverizing his subordinate himself. That damn Miroem didn't change at all. In the past, he did the same thing to his subordinates who were no longer useful to them. I remember you did the same thing to Nappa in the past, Vegeta. <laughs> Goku would say mockingly to Vegeta, who would say, Shut up, you insect. That's in the past. You'd better keep telling me what happened. For a moment, I tried to run away because I thought all was lost. But then... And just when he was about to finish me, he confessed to me that he was the one who, who was in charge of eliminating each one of my friends and family. I instantly lost my mind. I couldn't contain myself anymore and I exploded with anger. I managed to control a new transformation 100%. Everything happened so fast and in the end, I managed to exterminate that bastard. And after that, I thought I was going to die. I fainted, but thanks to Daishinken and if you hadn't come, Vegeta, I would be dead right now. I see, Son Goku. That's what happened. Without a doubt, the position of the new king of everything was perfect for you. You protected and saved the multiverse at all times, even when you no longer could. And you gave your life for it. Your courage and effort is worthy of admiration. I am proud of you, Mr. Goku. Daishinken said while bowing to Goku as a sign of respect. It's no big deal, Mr. Daishinken. I simply fulfilled my duty and obligation. When I was given this position, I promised that I would take care of this multiverse, even if it cost me my life. If only I had been more powerful, I could have saved many lives. I'm sorry, Daishinken and Vegeta. Shut up, insect! If it wasn't for you right now, all of us would be dead! You were the multiversal savior! A low-class Saiyan who became the new king of everything just saved the multiverse! Who would have thought that our Saiyan race would evolve to the highest level? I'm proud that we share the same race, Kakarot. Vegeta would say proudly for his Saiyan race. Mr. Vegeta is right, Mr. Goku. Without you, the multiverse would be lost right now. You were the savior of the multiverse. Speaking of the multiverse, Daishinken, what is going to happen from now on? The universes are without angels or destroyer gods. I was thinking we could revive all of them together with the Xenosama with the Super Dragon Balls. Hmm, I'm afraid that won't be possible, Mr. Goku. The kings of everything can't come back to life. It's a divine rule which has always remained. That's why no former king of everything is still alive. Besides, Miroem finished with the Super Dragon Balls. That damned wretch is causing us problems, even in death. What does that mean? This can't be happening. 
the mortality level of each universe is very low. Even though in some universes there are beings like Tapo and Vegeta who can occupy the position of God of Destruction, the rest of the universes don't fulfill it. There is a possibility, Mr. Goku, but it is very risky. And if everything goes wrong, this multiverse would be even more affected than it is right now. No matter how risky it is, Daishinkin, I, as the new king of everything, it is my duty to face any risk for the stability of the multiverse. You see, Sir Goku, we are not the only multiverse alive. There is another twin multiverse, number two, where the Super Dragon Balls exist in the same way. However, we do not know what kind of beings are the gods and angels of that multiverse, and above all, their power. You would run a lot of risk there, Goku, in case they find you and decide to finish you. I repeat, no matter how risky it is, if it's the only option, then I, as the new king of everything, must charge my duty to face any risk for the stability of the multiverse. So I've already decided, I will go to multiverse number two, whatever, whatever it takes. It takes. Wait a minute, insect. Are you planning to go alone and leave me without fun? I will also go with you to that multiverse number two, Kakarot. Vegeta, we cannot take any more risks. If you and I were to die in that multiverse, our multiverse would be even more defenseless. But apparently, there's nothing I can do to change your mind. But before we go, we must be aware of the risk we're going to face. Shut up, insect. I'm aware of the risk we're going to face. That's why I've decided to go with you. It's very risky for you to go alone. Wow, Mr. Vegeta, your fighting spirit is to be admired. Well, as soon as you get the Super Dragon Spheres from that multiverse and make a wish, just shout and I'll bring you back. All right, Daishin Kinsama. All right, Son Goku and Vegeta. See you. Good luck. I trust you will be able to make it. Daishinken would open a portal to teleport Goku and Vegeta in the multiverse number two. And from a strong glow, Goku and Vegeta would appear in a totally strange planet. But... What is this planet? It looks like the planet of Beerus. At that moment, Goku and Vegeta would feel a key approaching. Keep an eye out, Kakarot. Yeah. What do we have here? Goku and Vegeta would turn around and see a being whose form was totally human. But it's a human. Human? What is that? Who are you? That's none of your business, insect. What? You call me an insect? You come to my planet, and now you disrespect me? Suddenly, Vegeta gets hit and falls to the ground. Vegeta! Damn you! What do you think you're doing? Goku would also receive a powerful punch in the stomach. Be thankful that I'm being very gentle with you. At that, Goku passes the Super Saiyan, throwing a punch, but the speed of this one was so fast that in just one second, he would have counterattacked, throwing hundreds of punches all over Goku's body. The Saiyan was defeated on the ground. You're not strong at all. Vegeta, very furious, stood up and began to unleash the key of a god. Insect, as you dared to hit the Prince of the Saiyan, you will pay dearly! Vegeta said and then tried to transform into the Super Saiyan God Phase 2. However, he could not. What happened to you, Vegeta? Uh, what the hell is wrong with me? I can't transform! Wow, what a Saiyan that sounds like. I think I've heard of a Saiyan God. Vegeta, without saying anything, launches himself against him. But the deity, in an instant, moves behind Vegeta and with a single blow, makes the Saiyan crash to the ground, losing his transformation. Goku closes his eyes and begins to accumulate a great amount of divine energy. But if this is the key of the gods, its power is increasing even more. Goku, in an instant, would try to pass to the Super Saiyan God stage. However, just like Vegeta, he would not be able to. But what the hell is going on? Neither Vegeta or myself can release our power. At that, inside Goku's mind... Son Goku, let me tell you that this is because you are not from this multiverse. You still don't have your powers and energy in full. You will have to wait some time until your powers come back. What? What? This can't be possible! You must be right, though, because when we arrived at this place, I was feeling a little weak. And even though time is passing, I feel like my energy is slowly returning to normal. 
And even if you can use all your power, it is not convenient for you, Son Goku. You would attract the attention of the other gods, even the king of everything. You have to be very careful. Besides, I have noticed that this god does not possess evil key as such. However, do not trust him. Socialize, because he could be of great help to fulfill our mission. Understood. I also realized that his presence in Ki is not evil compared to other deities which we have faced. That could mean positive points for us. Goku would switch to his Super Saiyan state in a second, and in the blink of an eye, the god would have been punched in the face and smashed into some rocks. I made it? Said Goku, when behind him a voice could be heard. Not bad, Saiyan. You're stronger than I imagined. But what speed? With one blow, Goku falls to the ground, detransformed, and defeated. Uh, if I could use all my power, the situation would be different. But what an amazing power that bastard has. Just for making me release my 20% power, I won't eliminate them. Goku and Vegeta were totally wounded on the ground. Ah, uh, it's very powerful. Hey you, insect, uh, can you train us? Actually, they are too weak to be my disciples, but I like them. I will teach them some techniques, but I will do it if they are able to make me use 30% of my power. What? 30%? If before you used 20 and you defeated us with one hit, now it'll be impossible to hit him if he uses 30. <laughs> <laughs> I have to unleash more power until I achieve a phase more powerful than the normal Saiyan. Come on, attack me. Or don't you want me to train you? Are you afraid of me? First of all, I am the god Seldris, and if you can touch me, I will train you and make you obtain great power. <sighs> Insect, don't underestimate us! Vegeta shouted, transforming into the Super Saiyan Phase 2, throwing himself with all his strength to the god, throwing a blow which he dodges by counterattacking with a knee to the stomach of Vegeta, making the Prince of the Saiyans fall to his knees. Goku seriously closes his eyes to become the Super Saiyan Phase 3 and quickly appears above the god. The deity dodges the attack easily, however, Goku tries to unleash a little more of his power about to hit him. Oh, I didn't expect that. You almost hit me. Damn, he's incredibly fast. I don't think I can hit him at this stage, but I'll have to try. Vegeta, get up! Don't order me around, you insect. We'll have to use all of our power, Vegeta. You don't need to tell me. Vegeta would say and then raise his strength and power to Super Saiyan Stage 2. Meanwhile, Goku gives a loud shout, trying to increase his power. So, this is the limit of the two. It seems to me that they are quite strong, but for the gods of this world, they're absolutely nothing. Vegeta launches a final flash, however the god raises his hand, disintegrating the attack instantly. What the hell? It's too powerful! We can't even touch him! Suddenly, Zeldris, in the blink of an eye, hits Vegeta in the neck, making him fall down defeated. I think you're not fit to be my disciples. The god was about to defeat Goku when the Saiyan disappeared in an instant. But what? Wow, so he escaped. Suddenly, Goku appears behind the god in his Ultra Instinct state and manages to hit him. The god falls to the ground in shock. Goku throws another blow, but it would be stopped by the god who had increased his power to 50%. Wow, I guess I underestimated you. I didn't know you had such a power. Well, you've managed to touch me, so starting tomorrow, we begin training. Goku falls down, detransformed. We did it! Both tired Saiyans fall down, fainted, so that the next day, Goku and Vegeta will start training with the deity. I know you lack a lot of training, you, Vegeta, lacks a lot of speed, and you, Goku, certainly lacks concentration, and both of you need to increase your strength. I can feel that you have a lot of power to unleash," said the god. So many weeks would pass where the two Saiyans had increased their power to unworldly levels, since they had trained in a place called Angel Room, where Goku and Vegeta trained their divine key until they died. This is amazing. They have become too strong. They are almost at my level. This is all thanks to you, 
Suddenly, two entities would be felt. Two beings are approaching. The god was very shocked and a little scared. No, it can't be. We've got to get out of here fast. What's going on? Why are you so nervous? They are the kings of everything. We can't defeat them. What? Did you say kings of everything? Zeldris would quickly grab both Saiyan and leave, but an explosion would erupt. What the hell? Damn, he's here. In front of the three of them appeared the two kings of everything. These were called Angela, the angel protector of the universe, while on one side, Meliodas, the demon and destroyer of universes, which was the most powerful being of all. Zeldris quickly knelt before both of them. You two, do the same. Goku and Vegeta, kneel down. When at that, Meliodas kicks the god. How is it possible that you let two mortals enter your planet? Who the hell do you think you are, you insect? Vegeta shouted, attacking in his base state, but Meliodas, with his gaze, would leave Vegeta perplexed. <laughs> I can't move! He has awesome power, just like that angel, Goku said to himself. Meliodas pulls out a sword, attacking Vegeta to kill him, but Goku, in his Super Saiyan God Phase 2 state with 10% of his power, intervenes, throwing him a blow which the Demon King stops with a single finger, also nailing a blow in Goku's stomach, making the Saiyan fall down on his knees, drawing blood. Damn mortals! Damn mortals. How dare you dare confront you the King, the of, king everything. of Everything! You deserve, you deserve to, to die! die. Suddenly, Vegeta, in his Super Saiyan Blue state, launches a final flash, which Meliodas would disintegrate him. The Demon King, very angry, increases his power a little, and with a single blow to Vegeta's back, makes him fall down detransformed. Ah, he's very strong! Meanwhile, Zeldris would get up very angry. Even though you are the king of everything, you have no right to strike my disciples! Shouted the god, increasing his power, launching himself at the Demon King. So, so you, reveal you reveal yourself, yourself to, me. to me. I will put I will an end to your existence, existence right now. now! Zeldris and Meliodas attack each other, exchanging multiple blows that make the universes tremble, destroying planets around them. Meanwhile, Goku gets up a bit hurt, seeing the tremendous fight that was breaking out. Goku was about to interrupt the fight. Kakarot, what do you think you're doing? Vegeta would say in his base state as well as Goku. Vegeta, we have to help Zeldris. I already know that, insect. We'll have to use the maximum power of the Super Saiyan God. That's right, Vegeta. We can't hold back. If things go on like this, we'll have to use all our power to the maximum. Goku and Vegeta, in the Super Saiyan Blue, increase their power. But what? what? Meliodas said, very surprised by the immense power that the two Saiyans had unleashed. Show us your power! said Zeldris, who was being totally humiliated by Meliodas. So both Saiyan would hit him with a powerful attack. The attack was so powerful that it would send Meliodas off the planet. They have become very strong. Hey, listen to me. Goku and the others get into a fighting pose. I don't want to hurt them. I see that they are strong, but they are still no match for him. It would be much better if they escaped. Do you think we will escape, insect? She's right. Let's go said Zeldris about to open a portal, but Meliodas was in front of them with a totally different power. You little scum! How dare, How dare you hit me? me. Prepare, Prepare for your end, end. Because, because I'm going, I'm going to, to kill, kill you! you. It can't be, but what is this power? Goku said, then received a massive blow in the stomach. Vegeta quickly attacks the entity with a super final flash, but Meliodas cuts him in half, appearing in front of the Saiyan and landing a blow in the stomach, making the prince draw blood. While Goku screaming, charges at a great speed and throws a kick, which the king stops with one hand, breaking Goku's leg. He would scream in pain, falling to the ground like Vegeta. How did they get those powers? Damn! Zeldris would get up and then would send an attack through the stomach of Meliodas. However, the king of everything would regenerate. What? Is he immortal? Vegeta, very angry, would use a technique to heal himself and also heal Goku's wounds, leaving Meliodas impressed. Damn, I was saving this for myself, but I'm going to have to go all out with my power. Vegeta, smiling, says, This is just the beginning. 
Suddenly, the Prince of the Saiyans would expel a power that overwhelmed the entire planet, then with a loud scream, would have passed to Super Saiyan Evolution Phase 2. It seems that they will go with all their strength, then so will I. The Dark Deity would be surrounded by a very great power, achieving and releasing his 100%. What's going on? In the distance, Goku had given a shout, activating the perfect Selfish Doctrine. So the three, very serious and very angry, would walk slowly towards Meliodas. This is going to be exciting! Said the King of Everything, when at that moment, his eyes would change to a red color and his body would be surrounded by a power that surpassed all limits. Come to me! Zeldris in a millisecond appears behind him launching a super attack, while at the same time, Vegeta gathers a large amount of energy and power into his fist, launching a blow at full power. Both attacks would be useless as Meliodas would disappear. Damn, where did he go? In the distance was Goku fighting with the king of everything. I'm interested, interested in you. You're, You're the, the strongest. strongest. Meliodas prepares to attack the Saiyan, launching a powerful blow which Goku would harden his body, thus not affecting him. The attack Meliodas threw goes out and he's surprised. But what is that? Goku in an instant would accumulate all his ki to throw with one hand a ball of energy, which Meliodas would stop with a hard hit. However, the Saiyan with the other hand grabs Meliodas' head, sending him crashing to the ground, and then giving him a quick beating. Meliodas shoots out somewhat free and impressed. But what speed and strength he has! Meliodas would say without knowing that he was facing the king of everything of Multiverse 1. Zeldris and Vegeta were accumulating key to launch a gigantic combined attack to pulverize Meliodas. Kakarot, you better distract him, insect! On one side, Meliodas would get up somewhat angry and immediately throws a kick at Goku, which he would stop him with only one hand. But the blow was so powerful that it would break the arm of the Saiyan, crashing him to the ground. Damn it! Uh, he broke my arm! Goku said when the king of everything was already in front of him with a ball of energy in his face. Die already! Goku receives the devastating attack, being seriously injured. No, a little more. Just hold on a little longer. Goku would get up badly hurt. Meliodas looked on confident and with a smile. You are one of the strongest and toughest I have ever faced. That's why you will have the honor of a quick death. Goku with a technique cuts Meliodas' arm, but the king of everything regenerates instantly. Ah, uh, damn it. I just have to hold on a little longer. Meliodas would begin to counterattack, grabbing Goku's head and thus crashing it against some rocks, starting to hit him hard, strongly and torturing him. Goku's power was not even half of the king of everything of Multiverse 2. Minutes later, the Saiyan was on the verge of death. Goku tries to get up, but would be pierced by a sword. It's time for you to die! Meliodas was about to kill him, but behind him, Vegeta and Zeldris launched the most powerful attack that could exist. Meliodas was paralyzed, receiving the shocking attack, which would destroy half the planet. Vegeta and Zeldris fell exhausted to the ground because they used all of their energy. Good. Well done, Kakarot. Good thing I was able to hold on said Goku, who was on the ground bleeding. On the one hand, Angelina, the second queen of everything, would be impressed, and Vegeta would quickly heal some of Goku's wounds. I knew we would do it. Well done, Vegeta. And now, what are we going to do with her? Said Goku, looking at Angelina, who was nervous. But what's wrong with her? Hey, what's wrong with you? They made the king of everything unleash his full power. What are you saying? At that, Zeldris would be cut in half. You're giving me a lot of trouble, you bastards. Everyone would be impressed to see that Meliodas would have survived. Vegeta, very angry, tries to transform, but could not because he had spent all his energy. Zeldris would look at Goku and Vegeta, and then crash to the ground, bleeding. Both Saiyans immediately go to Zeldris, who was on the verge of death, cut in half. No, resist! Zeldris! Take my blood and kill that wretch! 
Goku and Vegeta, with no other choice, would begin to drink the blood of Zeldris. Hmm, just what do you think you're doing? Said Meliodas, launching a gigantic ball of energy to pulverize Zeldris, while on one side were the two Saiyans clutching their heads. What's wrong with them? Goku and Vegeta began to scream in pain and fell to the ground in despair. Meliodas launches a super attack, but these two were covered by spheres. The eyes of both Saiyans would turn totally red and their power would increase overwhelmingly, thus being surrounded by a divine aura. This is not possible! Where did they get all that power? It would be better if we left. You better not leave or I'll kill you too! Angelina looked on in fear. In that brightness, they would transcend. Goku and Vegeta appeared with their hair totally reddish like their eyes. The power that those two gave off? Ugh, those two made all the universes tremble. These two were in a demonic state. Meliodas would try to move, but both Saiyans already had their hands on the back of the King of Everything, starting to hit him hard. The speed and strength that the two Saiyans possessed was incomparable. Both put their hand on the chest of Meliodas, giving him a great burst that would send the King of Everything to another planet. Meliodas was also enunciated, appearing in front of both of them very hurt. Impossible, damn you! This can't happen! Mr. Meliodas, it is better that we leave or these guys will kill you. Their power is superior to yours. Of course not. I will kill them even if I have to absorb you! Meliodas shouted, grabbing Angelina and starting to absorb all her power. Damn you! How dare you! Goku and Vegeta quickly try to finish the fight and eliminate the king, but when he absorbed all the power of Angelina, the queen of everything, he began to open portals and make all the dimensions tremble. Meliodas accumulated so much power that he began to scream and shine. Damn it! What's wrong? We have to get out of here! It looks like he's going to explode! Meliodas couldn't handle all this power, thus exploding completely, destroying the entire dimension while Vegeta and Goku would scream. Daishinken, get us out of here! At that, a portal would appear, then at full speed would enter, barely falling to the ground, totally transformed. That was a close call. If we had stayed, we would have surely died. Quick, Kakarot, now that we've managed to finish off the King of Multiverse 2, we should hurry and go get the Super Dragon Spheres from that multiverse. That means that you managed to finish off the King of Multiverse number two, but you haven't been able to complete the whole mission yet? When we complete the mission, we will tell you everything from beginning to end, Mr. Daishinken. But yes, that's right. We managed to finish the deity, and it exploded, causing a multiversal explosion, since so many universes were destroyed. This is good news. In this case, I will open the portal in the dimension of the Super Dragon Spheres to save you a lot of time and run less risk. If I did not open the portal in that place before, it is because the King of Multiverse 2, as soon as you had set foot in the dimension of the Super Dragon Spheres, would have detected you in a second and would have finished you in the blink of an eye. Without a doubt, it was the best option. I'll tell you all about it later, Daishinken. Why are we still talking, Insect? Let's not waste any more time and open the portal! At that moment, Daishinken would open again a portal through which Goku and Vegeta would go through, appearing in the dimension of the Super Dragon Balls. Once there, Goku and Vegeta would find a room in front of them. We have to open that door, Kakarot. Leave it to me. I'll take care of it. Goku opens the door and enters. However, the door would close again instantly. Goku would try to open it again, but when he couldn't, he would take a look at the strange room he was in. Oh, now what do I do? Huh, I feel a great evil energy in this room, and I also just realized that the gravity here is very high. I can barely walk. Goku would walk around looking at the room, where there would be a lot of debris and statues. What are those statues? Everything here is very strange. Well, anyways, I have to find a way out of here. Suddenly, in the distance, he would observe two statues. But these two statues were very different from the others, since they possessed a very different energy which Goku could not calculate. What could this be? Goku would touch the hand of the first statue, and everything would start to glow. What? What's going on? At that, a gigantic explosion would be created. Goku screaming would fly out totally ejected, hitting a wall. Ugh! What was that? Goku said it very sore when in front of him someone would say, I'm very weak. Let me eat. 
Suddenly, the dark being would bite Goku's arm, and he couldn't see the incredible speed of that entity. Goku's arm would start to draw a lot of blood. The Saiyan would scream in pain, and the entity would be heard in the whole room. The entity would answer by saying, Your blood. Your blood is different from the millions of bloods I have tasted. Damn you! But who are you? Goku said, very wounded and bleeding. I am Drax. You don't need to know because you will die right away, you damned mortal. Although, I thank you for having freed me from this seal. But now that I am free, I'm going to eat you since your blood is unique. And the whole multiverse will be in danger! Drax would launch himself at Goku, but Goku would transform into his Super Saiyan God Phase 2 state, kicking him but not causing any damage to Drax. What? Goku shouted and then received a punch in the stomach, spitting blood and falling to his knees. Drax would put his foot on the Saiyan's head. This one was about to cut Goku, but the Saiyan would dodge it, backing away to hurt. Ugh, this guy is going to kill me. I can't read his moves. Goku wouldn't even finish speaking as Drax would punch him in the face, sending him against the ground, drawing a lot of blood. Drax says with a devilish grin, Fine, I'll start with the eye. Goku would try to move, but he would no longer have the strength. Wait! Goku shouts. Drax, after tasting Goku's eye with his hand, was about to cut it in half, when in a few milliseconds, he would receive millions of blows, sending him crashing against some rocks. Drax, a little sore, gets up and sees Goku's Ultra Instinct. This, this is incredible! Drax shouted, throwing himself against the Saiyan, and both began to exchange blows, shaking the whole room. They would fight for several days, but Goku was no match for Drax. And being defeated several times, the Saiyan had no choice but to escape. It should be clarified that one year in the room where Goku was would be one minute in the original dimension, the dimension where Goku had been observed at the time of touching the statue before. Fifteen years would pass, and all this time, Goku, while escaping, trained and tried to find a method to defeat Drax, but the level he was at was much higher. Damn, I don't know what to do anymore! I'm tired, and I can't defeat him! Said Goku, very sad and with a lot of anger while hitting the ground. I want, I want to, to get, get out, out of this, this damn, damn room! room! Goku had passed to the perfect egotistic doctrine. An incredible power overflowed from the Saiyan's body, so he would quickly appear in front of Drax. Both would stare at each other, starting a fight. Exchanging millions of blows and energy blasts at an extraordinary speed, this still would not be enough. Being defeated again, Goku on the floor with tears would say, I can't anymore. I surrender. Goku would close his eyes, while Drax on the other hand with a big smile would cut his arm, making him scream in pain. Drax would have eaten Goku's arm to then murder Goku. However, in Goku's mind, the Saiyan would start to remember all those moments he lived with his family and friends, and that however, he had to see them once again and accomplish his mission. So he would get up with the little strength he had, and Drax was very shocked. Miserable! When are you going to die? Drax was already furious and began to throw punches all over Goku's body, starting to torture him. Meanwhile, outside the dimension where Goku was, Vegeta was in a fight with an unknown entity. Both were very tired. When are you going to surrender, you insignificant mortal? Shouted the entity. Vegeta smiling says, It's time to finish you! The Prince of the Saiyans closes his eyes, breathing deeply, and in the blink of an eye, he passes to the Ultra Ego, leaving the entity shocked with the power he possessed. But how is it possible for a mortal to have all that power? 
How surprising! You are not an ordinary mortal! Vegeta, in an instant, moved behind the entity to give him a powerful blow in the neck, about to leave him unconscious. Suddenly, he received a blow in the face and fell back. I will finish you! Said the entity, very distressed. What nonsense are you talking about? That punch didn't even hurt me! What? If only I had all my power, this wouldn't be happening! But apparently that damn Drax took all my power with him! I knew you had something to do with Kakarot's disappearance! Tell me everything you know! Vegeta said seriously, and then did a technique leaving him kneeling. So, you were not alone. You were with someone else. Surely my older brother Drax already exterminated him in his dimension! <laughs> said the entity trying to get up, but Vegeta with a blast of energy would exterminate him, pulverizing him to the totality. Meanwhile, in another place, would have spent more than 30 years in the room where Goku was. He was screaming in pain as he continued to resist the blows and attacks of King Drax, would not give up for anything in the world. As time went by, Goku was matching the power of King Drax. This would leave something astonished and worried Drax. Goku seriously says, I don't know how long I'll be closed here, but I won't give up. Come on, Drax! Is that all you got? You're a king of everything! I thought you'd have more power! These words would make Drax furious. He couldn't kill Goku because he was very resistant, and every time that more time passed, he was getting even stronger. You're a bastard! How do you do it? Shout Drax, overwhelmingly raising his power, creating a gigantic ball of energy with the power to destroy an entire multiverse. Goku smiles, tired. <laughs> wow, that's new. I guess this will be the end of me. <laughs> Drax would launch his most powerful super attack, and Goku would quickly transform into the perfect Ultra Instinct, so that it would go into Drax's attack. But what are you trying to do? Drax said in shock. Goku would have absorbed the attack of this one, remaining with wide eyes and falling to the edge of death to the ground. Drax quickly gets on top of this one, pulling out a sword to pierce the Saiyan's heart. However, Goku would crawl totally covered in blood towards a statue. This one would unknowingly touch the other statue's hand, and Drax would scream. Damn! What do you think you do? Everything began to glow. Ahead of the Saiyan would come out a girl with an extraordinary power, but with an evil energy, appearing the queen of all darkness called Liza. Drax, you're still alive? Said the queen Liza. Drax answered angrily. Give me that Saiyan and I'll leave. I don't want to have to kill you. Liza looks at Goku totally covered in blood, so she says, This mortal must have unique blood, right? Then I'll eat him. Drax would attack Liza, but she hits him with a technique that would send him to another dimension. Liza would turn to eat Goku, but the Saiyan, with a smile on the ground near the verge of death, would say, Thank you so much. Thank you so much for saving me. This would stop Liza. Wait, what's happening to me? What is this? Liza wondered to herself, which on second thought would lift Goku up. Goku smiling. I thought you were someone bad because of your energy, but I see that you're someone good inside, and also very cute. This would leave Liza surprised because she couldn't believe that Goku called her cute. With a smile, she would blush. Liza says to herself, uh, What's wrong with me? Goku, after so many years, would wonder, saying to Liza, Hey, what kind of room is this? And why am I never hungry here? And besides, as far as I can see, I still look the same. To which Liza, with a slight smile, answers him. This is the room of the King of Destiny. No one goes hungry here. And no matter how many millions of years go by, you will never get old. Although, the truth is that I'm still very shocked. What? Why? 
I still don't understand how a mortal like you could endure a fight for a few seconds with the most powerful king of all. Oh, what are you saying? Said Goku exalted. Liza exclaims. Drax is the most powerful and evil being of all, the kings of all. I was his companion thousands of years ago. Goku replies. I see. And by the way, I wasn't locked up for seconds with Drax. I was fighting for many years here. I don't even know how long it's been. This would leave the queen most impressed of all. Goku would get up hurt and seriously say, That guy is now free and can destroy the multiverse if he wants to. We have to stop him no matter what. Goku with a smile would say, Ah, and by the way, my name is Goku. What's your name? Liza with a smile approaches Goku and gives him a hug. The Saiyan is surprised. Uh, but what are you doing? Liza would say, I see that you have suffered a lot, and you are still standing. You are someone very interesting. My name is Liza, and from now on, don't worry. I will help you as much as I can, Goku. Those words would make the Saiyan bring tears out of nowhere. Huh? But why? Goku was asking himself, and he was still shedding tears. But because he had suffered for a long time, and finally after so long, there was someone to help him. Meanwhile, in the palace of the King of Everything, where Daishinken was watching Goku and Vegeta, suddenly the whole sky would become dark. Daishinken watching would see a portal opening, and from that same portal would come out nothing more and nothing less than the King of Everything, Drax. Daishinken, to see him, would begin to feel a chill. It can't be. Is he the King of all Drax? Drax in the sky would raise his power, falling lightning around him while saying, It's time for my revenge, you damned kings of everything! Daishinken would try to do a technique, but Drax was already traveling through the universe of Goku's multiverse, eating completely each of the 12 universes, leaving Daishinken paralyzed, who would be watching what happened. Without thinking, he would bring Vegeta and Goku back to the multiverse where they belong, but to Daishinken's surprise, only Vegeta would return. What? Where is the king of everything Goku? said a very worried Daishinken when he realized that Goku did not return with Vegeta. What is this presence I can feel in this multiverse? Vegeta would say nervously, and then Drax would appear in front of Vegeta in the blink of an eye, cutting him, sending him against some pillars. Daishinken would quickly attack Drax, but this one, with just his look, would send him to the ground. Drax would taste Vegeta's blood, saying, I've got your blood. Your blood looks very similar to someone. Do you know Goku? Vegeta stands up in surprise. But who the hell are you? And how do you know Kakarot? Drax did a technique making Goku's arm appear covered in blood. Vegeta paralyzed. Kakarot? D damn You made him? Vegeta would shout, going into his Ultra Ego phase. Vegeta's Ultra Ego would launch himself against Drax, but the evil king would charge thousands of blades, throwing them against Vegeta, who would dodge them all. However, Drax was in front of him, nailing his arm in his chest, making him spit blood and falling detransformed on the ground. Drax, looking to the side, would observe Daishinken, who was planning to launch a super attack. So Drax would disappear when he realized it. Ah, very good, Daishinken! Looks like it's gone! Ah, uh, damn it! How could I have been so confident? I should have used my power from the beginning! Daishinken would approach Vegeta and heal him. Vegeta would ask, What was that? Who was that guy supposed to be? Immediately, Daishinken would tell him that Drax is the first king of the whole of all multiverses, and therefore is the most powerful. He was not like everyone. His thirst for hunger makes him want to eat everyone and destroy everything. He was locked in a statue by a powerful seal of all the kings of all the multiverses millions of light years ago. Vegeta asks, Kakarot shouldn't have touched the statue, but how are we supposed to get rid of that bastard? The only way to defeat that being is for the six kings of everything to get together and seal it. But now it's impossible. There must be a way. 
Meanwhile, on the other side, Drax was sailing through all of the universes and multiverses, eating gods, angels, increasing his power little by little, destroying planets, galaxies, and universes, to the point of killing three kings of everything. His power was near unlimited. On one side was Goku and Liza, who were still in the room. Good! It's time to get out of here! Starting to raise his power, but Liza says, Wait! 